Welcome to Sunday, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where you can find the best, newest games anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> From the Atari 2600. Yay. I have a new intro, but I didn't have it up. Here it is. Your best source for the newest games on the 2600. Excellent. There uh, we where we broadcast at 60 frames a second. Yeah. And today we have three games we're going to play. Mm. We're going to be playing Quantum Tunnel, which has just been updated. Cool. And uh, that's by Jared Gray West. And Hotbox uh, by Edward Smith, EA Smith. And we're going to be trying for the patch for another uh, homebrew patch. Oh, okay. Starfire. Starfire. Okay. It's from 2003. Excellent. And, uh, uh, yeah, we're all good. And, uh, and that is by Emmanuel Rockstar. Rocked? Rotschkar. Rotschkar. A.K.A. Mm. Cybergoth. Mm. Cybergoth. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just say Cybergoth. Um, and I want to thank uh, everybody who has showed up and all the Twitch yes. subscribers. Hello. Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Charles Rees, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Drexel, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G. Croco2600, Lodmot, Metal Lunar 7, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC7E, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Sir Catlegs, uh, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esther 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MDN. You can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And make sure you follow and like and subscribe to all the things Twitch and mm -hmm. YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter, and especially um, on Twitch so you know when we're going to be broadcasting. It'll pop up on your phone or computer and say, hey, Zero pages on. Go watch it. <laughs> Stop what you're doing right now. Homeschooling your all. kids. Let them let them run around and play the switch just for, throw for a couple in the backyard. Hours. Yeah, exactly. And just like Azur did, he says, I have three Twitch streams all doing shows at the same time. I guess I'll <laughs> oh, watch this one you, live. Azur. Yes, thank you. He made or you the... just you find three devices and just have them all running. <laughs> but we're the ones with the audio on. Right? Yeah, that's right. Mute the other two. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> yeah. th thank you everybody yeah. Yeah. for tuning in live. You can watch us live on Twitch. Um, right now we're broadcasting Wednesdays and Sundays, Sundays. during it's working this. working well. Yes. Yeah, it's working well. We do early Sundays and later Wednesdays. Yes. And the people hanging out with us today live is Thrust26, Azure6502, Spartan5, uh, 5A1, Metal Lunar 7, Dan AVC, Gretums, Mark Space Inc., who supported us during the Atari Homebrew Awards. Thank you so much for just that. Just a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, the D Train a 37, Ice Boast, uh, Pack Rat VG, all the usual suspects, yeah. Captain Classic, uh, yeah. and Mother 3. Yes. Last one I've watched from UK, I fell asleep at 4 a.m. <laughs> when they're only halfway through. Yeah. See, that's why I, we want to do this show on Sunday where it's a little bit earlier and yeah, it's going to be like... a little like easier depending on where you are. 8 o'clock? Yeah. Where you guys are in it's the UK? It's seven hours ahead. Is it seven, seven? Eight, something like that? Well, it's about seven or eight there. Yeah, seven, eight hours ahead. So it's within a reasonable time and frame to Not watch. 4 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, mail yeah. news and feedback. Uh, we played Aardvark. Uh, last episode as part of the uh, 2020 Harmony Games. Mm -hmm. um, I put in a score of 49,120, which put me in first place for about two seconds. And then Thomas Yench mm. swooped in and got 57,000 points. And now he's in first place. Oh, 57. Are we going to try our work at the end of the show today? Or no, you, you're not ready yet? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I've been... I've been testing scores per level and calculating it I know, out. I know, I know. And, I'm uh, around. I can see him practicing. <laughs> problem if, was I, if I do it right now, Yeah. Thomas will just beat me again. Oh, so there's strategy going yeah, on. Yeah, and, and I have a show scheduled with it already in. Okay, fair enough. Just before enough. it ends. Yeah. But if you put in your score, see, they'll just beat it immediately. Yeah. So you can't do that right away. Yeah. Sneaky, yeah. yeah. And, and it was already scheduled. I, I, I usually play it right at the beginning of of the contest okay. and then just before the end. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Because yeah. it's good to put in a, a good score so mm. that people have something to shoot for and you kind of know your place and then maybe practice a bit and then do it, do one more right at the mm. end. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm just going to pause you before you go on. Should yes. we let the cat in? Because they're going yes. mental right now. Yes. Okay. They got kicked out because they were being very naughty. They were being Can very you maximize bad. that window? It's driving me crazy. Maximize it? Yes. Um, good to know. Else James might reschedule. Hmm. Uh, and I got a message from somebody who's watching mm. right now, the Mark Space people. Yeah. Uh, just a quick hello to say that since the, it's war since the awards, we've added 2,600 support to Project Argon. Um, and that's the thing where... But he's fine. He's fine. He has trouble. <laughs> um, actually, the camera looking down because we moved it recently is not Do you want looking. me to adjust that? You talk. Yeah, it's I'll like half adjust. looking at the television, which is not good. Just point it up just a little bit. Um... They said that we've added 2,600 support to Project Argon, which is very exciting, and about adding lots of awesome homebrews to the free play section. It's doing exactly the same thing. Uh, if you have a Chromebook, Android, base tablet, phone, or TV, or Amazon tablet, or TV, and you would like to try out the Alpha, let us know, and I would like to. Because um, they attached a big list of uh, homebrews, not a list, more of a screenshot, and it was pretty much like my top 10 of homebrews. It was, uh, let's see, uh, Amoeba Jump, Robo Mechanics, Stay Frosty, Wall Jump Ninja, Cannon Head Clash, Dog Walk, Juno First, Spies in the Night, and Guna. Um, so I'm not sure if these are the publicly available versions or the full versions or if they've licensed them yet because it's not a public, it's not a public thing. Um, so they may just be for uh, testing purposes. But uh, it looks really interesting, and I'm also wondering what they're using for the emulation back end for the Atari 2600. So mm. I'll be checking that out. I've already uh, answered them back. Release the Predators. Well, yeah, they seemed interested for about two seconds yeah. and then left. Well, I can actually see one of them staring at me through the door. There's a little black and white cat oh, yeah. just, just looking at me. We had to kick him out earlier because he kept opening the window, which is crazy. But anyway. Uh, so... Uh, somebody named Robert messaged me on Facebook and he was suggesting some of his friends' games Excellent. for to play on the show, which nice. I always like. Yeah. Uh, nice. what was that about? Release the, miss the start? Oh, uh -huh. too bad. You have to rewind. <laughs> um, and he says, hi guys, I really enjoyed your streams. Uh, really enjoy your streams. I have a nice suggestion for it. A friend of mine has developed a couple of homebrews, which might be nice addition, uh, for your show. And we always welcome that because mm -hmm. there's games that sometimes pop up that just aren't on the radar anywhere they're not on atari age they're not on those the facebook groups the atari 2600 facebook groups i follow mm -hmm. and they're and they're made like years ago and they're just nowhere so it's sometimes really nice to get people to message in about um some more obscure homebrews i did let him know that we had covered them in a past episode we actually mm -hmm. the two of them together and did kind of a spot a mini spotlight on that uh, on that person and then he followed it up with, uh, Hi James, I apparently missed this podcast, but I'm really glad you gave the game some airtime, and I really like your fair reviews, which you guys always give. Well, that's really nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we give fair reviews? Well, we, we do we do our best to, 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 to help people out with their homebrews, especially if yeah. they're in mid-production, um, where they want yeah. suggestions. Yeah and we try them out and go well you could add this to it and add yeah. this to it and that's a little too hard that's a little too easy yeah i was gonna say i don't know if we review them so much as just play them and and express our frustration if something's annoying us so really <laughs> yeah, it's a it's different... less of a review like you can you can enjoy a game and be yeah. frustrated by parts of it too so it's it's not quite yeah, the same I, thing I, yeah i don't really term what we do really reviews really. but it is but we In do a like a playthrough we almost. Play, we play it. And we it, give so. feedback, so yeah. therefore, review. Very, <laughs> Very polite, non-German type, type reviews. reviews. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are Canadian, after all. Yes, right? We're so. going to try and be polite, but that's that's just our... That's the stereotype, so there you go. Yes. Yeah. We try to be positive, because just making a game is hard enough. Yeah. So what we want to do is encourage more people to make games, and more people to finish their games. Mm. So... Just saying negative things about them, I don't think is very productive. Mm. I think uh, trying to say what could be improved or what you could well, add to is is not, is going to be much more productive than saying, "Oh, this game sucks." Yeah, this is a terrible game. Yeah. I'll leave that to other channels. <laughs> There's enough channels out there that are yeah, just really wanna, down on just things. Just really want to down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm very excited to try any game, good or bad. 
because it, yeah. it you learn about the system and, and, and the limitations of the system and yeah. and you and for me, I mean you play more games than I do. Mm. I still play a lot of video games, but um, it makes me understand a bit more about why I like something or I don't or why something works and something doesn't. And yeah. there are types of games it's constructive criticism. Exactly. Yes. Uh, there's types of games that um, that I just don't really like. And it's not it's no offense to the developers or to the game itself. Like there's well, yeah. there we all have our own kinds of games that we yeah. like. Yeah. And and More usually critique. the ones yeah. yeah so and I try to be if I'm if I'm saying something negative or I'm saying something, I try to be very honest about the fact that I just don't like this style of game, you know? Like it's Well it's, yeah, that's that's it's it's that's something aside from the it's game. It's a very itself. personal thing, yeah. Yeah, and you can't improve yeah. on that. It's like I hate yeah. mazes in the dark. Yeah. And you say I, that every time you get a maze in the dark, but, but it's it's so I find it so pointless. A maze in the dark? How is that even fun? But it's just you know, memorized. I'm not I'm not it's gonna memorizing. say stop making mazes in the yeah. dark because people apparently like mazes in the dark. They yeah. keep making those games. Yeah. <laughs> but poor James. Yeah. And I like, you know, shooters and platformers, but yeah, I love shooters playing, are fun. Love playing all types of games. Yeah. Um, oh, we've got it. We've got a monster here. Yeah, you can yeah. see his tail. Someone was asking what I'm drinking. I'm afraid it's just coffee. <laughs> it's early. It's, it's and also I've run out of soy creamer, so it's with with your oat milk, which is just not good in coffee. It's, it's fairly creamy, but not quite as it's much. It's not. It's not soy creamer. So um, it's okay. Anyway. So I noticed that Dianoid released the final demo version of Tower of Rubble about five hours ago. Um, mm -hmm. This is the version with two-player support and all the additional features you saw in the show last time we played it. Yeah. With the tower in the middle. And the new intro kind of music, mm. <laughs> sort of mood, mood setting sounds yes, yes, more yes. than music, but it is music. Um, so the demo's out. It's not the cartridge version. There's a couple differences between that and the cartridge version. Um, you can pause the game in the cartridge version and hey. No, no, good? he's being cute. He's being cute. He's on <laughs> camera right now. Oh, so. good. And in the cartridge <laughs> version, um, you can save the high score. So that's the difference between the demo. Yes. Okay. And Tower of Rubble is yeah, awesome. It's very, very fun. So if you want to grab that, that is in the Atari Age forums right now. We played it fairly recently, and we played the version that he released pretty much. So um, we will probably check it out again when it comes out on cartridge, um, which who knows when that's going to be, mm -hmm. but hopefully soon. Uh, Tower Rebel is amazing. Great animation, great gameplay. Yeah, and it has two players, which is always great to yes, have more I, two player it's games, fun. more paddle it's fun games. It's for us because <laughs> yes. we can play them together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to jump into the first game, Quantum Tunnel. Excellent. It was just recently updated um, less, about a month ago on March 13th. There's two cats in here now. Yeah. Oh, and the gray one's running off. There you go. Come if, back, Ray yeah, the music synchronization with the action is a really big feature of that. Very few yes. games have that, and it really gives. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's an true. interesting vibe to it. Yeah. That ready? Atari Hot Plus. Ready. Ready. We'll see if this pops up properly. Yep. There we go. Good. Um. So, uh, this game was first posted July 8th. Oh, you need to see it on the big yeah, screen. Yeah, I can't see it. <laughs> July 8th, 2018. Other games he's made, Atomic Disco, Atomic Disco 2, Hysteria, Lost Cat, Quantum Tunnel, Red Blue 3D Game Demo, Spies in the Night, Spies in the Night 2, and The Horde. Mm. Uh, we played Lost Cat. Um, I think we need to play that some more because we didn't finish that one. That's more of like an RPG. Um, and Quantum Tunnel we played. Yep. Load it up. Yep. Um, and this is uh, demo version nine. Um, and we played Spies in the Night and waiting uh, anxiously on Spies in the Night two to be released on cartridge. Oh, so I'm pretty cool. sure that's like pretty Imminent? much done. Yeah, almost done. Yeah, cool. very very done. Yeah. Uh, this you can download from the Atari Age forums. It's a 16k F6 game. Last time we played it was July 27th, 2018. It's almost two years ago. Long time ago. Did um, I play it with you? Uh, n I don't think. I don't think so. So I don't. Maybe I'm, I'm, I have a terrible memory sometimes. Pixel I I can interested. usually yeah I can usually uh, <laughs> tell once I start playing but the names don't always jump jump to mind. Well so yeah, there's a lot of we'll names. We'll see. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if you saw this or remember this. Um. You can. 
let me get out the quick instructions for you. Okay. Um, you're not shooting anything, you're collecting things. Okay. And you want to collect uh, all the things of the same color. Mm -hmm. They're little blocks. Mm. Uh, you're the blue particle on the left side of the screen. His goal is to power up by collecting strings of like-colored particles. Of the of your color. Not your color. Okay. Of similar color. There's two or three different colors. Okay. Um, so if you're going to be going for yellow, just keep going for yellow. If you change to another color, oh. it starts over. Okay. Move the particle up and okay. down with the joystick. Your particle has momentum and will not stop immediately when re you release the stick. Learning to move accurate, accurately is the key to high scores. You begin with three lives. Avoid the nanobots. Touching these will cost one life. Okay. Touching blue obstacles or the sides of the tunnel will cause your particle to bounce around. So no blue. Uh, they're more like blue walls. Okay. Rather than blue particles. particles. Yeah. Okay, so there's a clear distinction. Yeah. There's two types of uh, collectible particles in the tunnel, yellow and green. You can collect either type, but you want to continue collecting the particles of the same color in order okay. to increase your bonus multiplier. Okay. For example, the first... Well, you can jump in, but that's, okay. that's the basics. So there's greens and yellows. Oh. Color differences is ah! quite as distinct on this as it is on the emulator. It is a very similar. And I think that might be on purpose, but... Um, for example, ah! the first green particle is worth zero points. Too close. If you collect another green particle, next you'll receive 100 points, then 125, and so on until you reach a maximum of 500 per green. Yeah. You oh, it wanna... killed me. Uh, you... I thought it was supposed to bounce me around. Uh, I think... Lies. Lies. There's different punishments at different times, too, depending on... If things are flashing, oh. at a certain point, they become deadly. The walls become deadly. Oh, a certain point. Yeah. I think pretty much from the beginning. <laughs> the color of your score indicates the color of the last particle you collected. Oh, okay. That's well, kind of aqua at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's still accurate. Ah. See, it just bounced ah. you. Ah. And bounced you. Mm. Ah. Oh, no. It ah. changes to kind of yellow. It's not... That's yellow. I hit a yellow right before yeah. I died. So if I go for... Uh, oh. The color sequencing reminds me of Crash and Dive from Swoops. Ah! Thomas says. And really cool animation ah! on the um, <laughs> on the particles. Where they're like... They look like three different sizes and they're uh, rotating through them really quick. Oh, I don't think this is going very well. I'm not dead, but... <laughs> well, that's the only thing that you have to really worry about is not dying. And collecting the similar... specific colors. Is it just the two colors, or do you yep. get more as time goes on? Nope, just the two colors. Ah. Um, ah. There's one thing I have not told you. Oh. Ah. Time freeze power. The status bar in the lower right indicates how much time freeze power you have. Pressing the red button will freeze everything in the tunnel except for you. Oh! Uh, use this ability to dodge nanobots, avoid tunnel obstacles, or position yourself to pick up particles. So if you hold the button, you can stop everything and move out of the way. Oh! So try that. Try that now. Nine, six, two, five. Ah, uh, green. So when a wall comes up next, just kind of press the button for a second. Then you can let go. Can't use it all up. Oh, I see. Yep. Um. When your mo bonus multiplier is at the maximum, you'll also receive a bonus to your time freeze. Power meter. Oh, picking up ten particles in a row. So you can build up your time freeze back up when you get ten in a row. Uh, <clears throat> at set intervals, the tunnel will begin to pulsate. I don't think I've hit that yet. Oh. Uh, when this is happening, the obstacles in the tunnel become deadly. You can still... Yeah, you can't wait too long. No, but you bounce off. I'm trying to get as close to the wall, but then yeah. it keeps bouncing me off. So, uh, You can still touch the top and bottom of the walls of the tunnel, but doing so will bounce you around, potentially throwing you into an obstacle. Building your power meter, utilizing your time freeze, power carefully will become very important. The farther you advance in the game, the more difficult progress will become as more and more obstacles appear in the tunnel. The enemies speed up. Eventually, your time freeze power weakens. will only slow the enemies and particles rather than stopping them completely. Don't give up. Extra lives are awarded at 30,000, 60,000, and 80,000. And I believe the last time we played this, 
10. We didn't get close to 30. <laughs> 10. Left difficult switch in the B position gives you some time freeze power to begin with. If it's in the A, you begin the game with none. None. So you have to build it up. And you'll have to earn it. Um, so let's see what the latest update adds to this. Uh, I've finally returned to this game after almost two years, uh, Jared Gray West uh, adds. Oh, is that? It's not plugged in. What's not plugged in? Oh. oh it's like there we go. It's all better now. Um, I think I've fixed the difficulty problem. There's a new feature as well. At certain intervals, the play field will begin to pulsate. When this happens, the obstacles become deadly. Top and the bottom and sides are still safe to touch, but they may bounce you into an obstacle, so beware. I've tuned the difficulty ramp and tweaked a few other things. I'd still like to add a high score feature. That's a very good addition to have. Looks like I started to do this at one point, then commented it out. Shouldn't be too hard to put back in. Please try it out and let me know what you think. I'm also interested to hear what your high scores are. Mine is around 80,000. Ooh, good for him. He's very good at his own game. Yeah, well, <laughs> you should be good at your own game. Well, not always, but yeah. you should. Because you know all the secrets, and it's presumably a type of game that you like. Um, so for all the developers out there watching, um, do you find that you are just cut the end there. better at your own games than, say, other people's games? Like, do you tune them? So that they're more enjoyable or better, or, or something that you like to play more so than than not. Or do you are you bad at your games and other Why people? Why would just... you be bad at your game? I don't get. I that. don't know. I don't know. Like presumably the person who made the game should have the high score in the game. Well, or like, close to it. Close to it, like really high up. I mean, there are some pretty amazing gamers out there who can. Oh yeah. Oof, that was close. Yep. Like, Thomas, do you find that you're, like, really good at your own games? Or you're, like, you just, like, the oh, games you make so are that. the ones that you like to play? No. Okay. 16. Not bad. 16. Is that your so, best so far? So far, yeah. Yeah. Slowly ramping up. Better than I thought I would do. <laughs> it's the bouncing off the sides into the obstacles that, yeah. when you're trying to avoid the three in a row, I think that's the most challenging. Um... Tell me if you see the pulsating. I don't... I, I don't see any pulsating. Well, everything's pulsating right now. <laughs> so, I see a lot of pulsating. <laughs> it's a little hard to look at, to be honest. <laughs> uh, well, you have issues with... Well, it's not so much I have things. issues, but they can trigger migraines in me, so I have to be a little bit careful. Yeah. But I'm not staring at it too much. Oh, oh there it's flashing. I oh, at the it. top, yeah. Oh, everything. Oh. The whole the whole play field's yeah. flashing. Well, not play field. I didn't really notice it when I was playing, though. It was a little, maybe a bit too subtle. Because everything is flashing and all the all the particles are flashing it's, as it's you're, a lot as you're of going flashing. through. So, it's, so you it's, don't really notice you it, You don't actually. really notice it when you're playing. But yeah, it is. It is going blue and white, it looks like. I almost wish the flashing was slower. Like, like pulsating dun, dun, more. Dun, dun, yeah, like of the enemies. Or uh, the of the background. Collecting? Of the background. When the background flashes, it should be a little slower, so that you can actually. Mm. So it's really obvious that things, everything's deadly all of a sudden. Because I didn't notice that, and I didn't realize that's when those barriers were killing me. Oh. Now it's flashing again. Did yeah. you notice? It's it's very hard because everything's really moving and flat. Yeah. Like everything's flashing. Yeah. So. It's, it's it's a little, it's a little subtle? hard. It's a little subtle when you're playing it. Maybe a different color, or just slower. Oh. If it were slower, if it were going Whoa. white, blue, white, blue, or something. May yeah. A little slower would probably make it a bit easier to see. I I have a hard time looking at that. <laughs> I honestly do. It's a little uh, hard. Damn it. Ugh. It's hard to get one and not the other. Because if you start going back and forth, it's pointless because you get zero points. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Literally No, pointless. you need... Oh, you're <laughs> just destroying me now. 22, 23. You're better at uh, not accidentally uh, hitting the walls. I'm going to go for green now. <laughs> you just... Whatever. I find I stare at the play field, so I'm not even... I should be kind of glancing down when you hit a bunch in a row, like, oh, what color am I going for? But I, I find I don't do that. I'm just memorizing, okay, I'm hitting close. green, I'm hitting yellow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah, hard yeah. to look at. 
It is a lot of flashing. Captain Classic uh. says subtle. It's pretty clear, I think. I don't know if it's just how we're seeing it on the screen that we're looking at, but I'm not noticing um, the flashing. I it uh, might it might be on fine. the stream. It might be a oh, look a little different flashing. on the stream. The flash. I think it's because of what you're concentrating on while you're playing. Maybe. Like you're yeah. concentrating on the colors, and not the edges of yeah. the screen. Or a different color might help a little. Yeah, I it's it's because it's if it went yellow or if it, if it went a different color, or it would be a little easier to see. I don't know. I'm not noticing it all that much though when I'm playing. No, it's very. Subtle. I'm, I'm trying to look at what's going through the stream to see if the flashing looks a little clearer than the the monitor we're looking we're looking yeah. at. I think the key is um oh well yellow then. Yellow it is. That's Slight angry. movements. Rather than um big yeah. movements. Yeah, I, I was bouncing around. A like fair just amount. tapping the joystick because there's yeah. not it's not a lot of room See, to see now it's flashing, but I, I notice it more on the stream than I do on, on the screen we're looking at, so yeah, it's more obvious. Isn't that funny? I'm all messing up here. Oh, you're doing. You're doing pretty good. I need to start getting mm. some colors. Oh, you and your flashings. Yeah. Tech TV, a, a new name I haven't seen before. Oh, Says welcome. that's some quality flashing shades of Buck <laughs> Rogers on the Atari 8-bit. Ah. Uh, an abject terror for you, Matt Yes. Yeah. yeah. Stay away. <laughs> a low level buzz hum. I don't know. I'm not Is hearing there? it. Um, Is there? Probably because we're not talking. And it's, <laughs> and, it, and it's a very quiet yeah. game. It is a quiet game. There's no music. You might be hearing my computer <laughs> in the background, <laughs> which is most likely. Someone says uh, pat paddle support would be good. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it would be a good paddle game. Paddle tends to, well,. No, that still would work if you still kept the momentum in. Oh, my God. oh yeah. That was not as good. What did I get? 27? Mm. I almost got a extra guy. Yeah, you almost did at 27. I mean, the key is to keep getting the same color. Ah, uh, no! Die, 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 die. That was a terrible first person. Oh, interesting. When you die, it doesn't have a designation of what color you're collecting, so it goes red in the bottom. Oh, so you're red until you hit something. Yeah. Ah, oh, neat. That's very cool. Little little ah. details. It's nice to see those little details in games. Yeah. Yeah, because my computer is is right beside me, um, and I can hear it. It's it's like a whirring whirring noise. The fan of the computer. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ugh. Green it is. No. Maybe our our. Mic or ambient is a little high, I don't know. Well, if we brought the microphone a little bit closer to us and turned down the microphone, then it would help. All right, well, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's okay. Let us know if it's still I think it's ongoing. just because it's quiet game. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bloop, 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 and we're not talking much. True. Ah! Okay, it's going to be your turn next. Okay. Let's see if I can do better than, what was it? 11? 11? No. No, 16? 17, 17. 17. <sighs> Trying to be a little more subtle. It's flashing now. I'm going to pay attention to the flashing a bit more, too. Not that it matters too much. You're still trying to avoid the things you're trying to avoid, so it just means it's going to kill you if you hit it. Instead of bounce you off. And there was a slight screen jump when it started flashing. So mm. there's some line count issues that need tiny to be bit, addressed. Yeah. Like just a tiny bit. Ah. That, was, that was close. Oh, that's good it's not flashing. Because I ran into a barrier. Bumped me. Oh, oof, oof, oof. I think the game, I can't remember what I thought of the game last time because it's two years ago. Yeah. But it's very well balanced now. Mm. Like it's no Was it not balanced well or there was something it was too hard or too easy last mm. time, like because he comments that he uh, changed the the game difficulty. Mm. Damn it, eighteen. That's pretty good. Yeah, doing pretty good. I need to make it to like to get the extra life though. I th I think I can make it to thirty if oh. oh not this not this round. Not this round. Yeah. 
Some heartbeat sound like an asteroids would be good. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, just subtle taps. So we're playing chess on Wednesday with Erlen. And I'm trying to figure out the best presentation for that. Oh. Because um, what I had originally planned was... Oh, I knew I was going to hit him. That I was going to have a computer play the computer. Okay. Um, a computer play the computer. So we're not playing it. <laughs> no, at, at one point, like, just to show it off and see what was happening. Okay. Um, but I started doing that. Like, I had video chess play okay. Andrew Davies chess. Um, but the moves take however long you set it to, really. But, uh, it's very slow. It's really, really slow and tedious. And that's not what you want to have in a, in a show. It just doesn't work. Mm. Um, having a, com a player play the computer is a little bit more interesting. Um, maybe it's because of commentary. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know how to play chess. I can't play this. So. No? Yeah, the, okay. the flashing is getting to me. <laughs> Sorry. You can finish my game. You guys have been quite a few avoidable deaths with more judicious use of the pause. Yeah, oh, I'm not using, using the pause, the pause at, all. at all. I think that was another thing that that yeah. happened last time is like, I didn't care about the pause. Yeah. Oof. Use an emulator and do a thousand percent speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh, um, look at it. Sorry. Because somebody was commenting... <laughs> well, don't look at that. It's a little flashing. Somebody was okay. commenting in the thread of the chess to put it at a thousand percent. Jeez. I'm just going to die here. To put it at a thousand percent, but that also um, puts the... I'm just going to die. Mm. Puts the movement at a thousand percent. And... Somebody said that there's no easy way to change back and forth the speed. Mm. Um, so you'd have to be like a thousand and then change it back and then change it back to a thousand. And it's like really slow and tedious to do that. Mm. There's not a, there's not a hotkey um, to quickly do that. So uh, that is a solution. Ugh. Caught one of the green ones. Yeah, I should try and use the pause more here. You forget it. You forget oh, it's there. <laughs> and that's, but you, then I you, you can do. die. Yeah. Like if I'm not used to it. Well, also you, you you only have a, a limited amount of time to use it, so you have yeah. to you have to know what move you're going to make right away. Yes. So I think I think that takes a bit of practice. Well, you, but you have to know that neat. you're going to to die, almost. Mm. See, I was going to die anyway. <laughs> but. <laughs> On that one, I was kind of. Trapped. I meant to do that. I, not, <laughs> I meant no, I to. Didn't, I didn't meant to. I meant to that. hurl myself into that. Uh, that. Bar. I should have gone to the top though. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, I avoided it. There we go. So we actually have two cats. We have a cat really? over here and oh, a cat yeah. over here in the stream, which uh, is 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 a so rare I'm not, event. I'm not used to the button. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually dying every time I press the button. Yeah, you're almost doing better without the button. <laughs> Because it's almost like a it's just, yeah, it's, thing that I have to really think about using. Yeah. I think most of the time you're you're okay without. I am. I'm just you're okay fine without, without it. The button. Yeah. <laughs> like you're you're able to avoid things, but then if you're not using it, you forget it's there, and then you're not using yeah. it when you should. I I'm having a hard time looking at that right now. Don't look at it yeah. then. I need you in good health. <laughs> no, I'm fine. It just it's just hard. I think because you're flashing as well as the things you're getting. Oh yeah, like, everything's, like everything's going everything's nuts. kind of flashing, so so it does make it a bit hard to stare. I don't know. Is a slower pulse a good thing for the game? Like, because some people are going to have difficulty it's, it's, seeing this. I, you know what? Um, if if I like if if the object you that's picking up the bits wasn't flashing, I think it would bother me a lot less because that's what I'm really focused on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm kind of just seeing the things coming from the right at the corner of my eye but it's 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 the fact that that little blue guy is flashing as well so sorry it's not a not necessarily an issue with the game just a, an issue, issue with, with your me. brain <laughs> yeah 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 damn it ah uh. how are you doing well 23 
Damn it. Just reset it. We were watching a replay from what was it, Dr. Mario World Championship the other day? Uh, a couple days yes. ago? Yes. Um, which, th those are just amazing to watch. Any of those fast action games? Oh my games? gosh. Like, um, we would go to Portland. It's not quite as fast as Tetris. But yeah, we would go to Portland 25. and see the, that's very good, the World Series of Tetris. And it's just amazing how quickly people's brains work as far as fitting things into the right spots. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, Turbo Hotkey to Stella would be very cool. Like something you could hold down mm. and then let go. Um, I mean, there's not many uses for it. Mm. It would be for the thinking games. Yeah. Or like the maze games where it has to set up the maze and it takes sometimes 30 seconds. Mm. Well, maybe not 30, say 20 seconds to, to calculate in the tiny little Atari 2600 brain. Brain, yeah. To calculate this maze. Tiny Oh, tiny little Atari. <laughs> um, uh, so chests and maze setups would be great. You hold down a key and it goes zip. Yeah. But of course, if the maze game, after it gets to finishing drawing the maze, starts immediately, it's not good. No, because then <laughs> because things whatever will start going after you. If there's an opponent, it'll be like Bip, dead. Yeah, that would be kind of funny, actually. Yeah, but, <laughs> but for chess, that'd be that'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I can see the player pulsing at a slow rate. The objects that you're catching just a solid square would be a bit boring. Yes, yeah, it's true. That's true. I don't know if s slowing down everything would be good. Um, no. It's pretty flashy. It is pretty flashy. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to see it to see yeah, what it would look like to see if it's better. I really want to make it to 30. Uh, the flashing adds a lot visually, so I'm not... It does. I'm not, like, I'm it's not really nice. harping on that at all. It's, but it's, it looks like it's doing me. it at it's 60 frames a at. second. Like, literally, it's going as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably at 60. For some reason, I like getting the yellows. I'm just used to getting the yellows. You kind of oh. get... Your your brain gets set on one color. Yeah. And then you accidentally hit another one, and it's almost like... like you're, it has to reset itself. And there's but no like reason that. to go like after that. one or the other. Like, they're all equal. It does, does not matter. It seems no. to be completely random. As long as you just Coming left stick. Right. You stick often do one. get um, a three in a row, which is nice. Yep. If you can target the threes in a row and oh, avoid yeah. kind of the little ones a lot, then you, you can do pretty well. You can get your score up I yeah. think, pretty quickly that way. And it's using great use uh, of like the oh. triplicate um, function mm. in the Atari. Damn it! Is it wide triple? Is that the... That's the thing that it's using. Because there's close triple and wide triple. Or medium. Ah, oh, good. It wasn't. Uh, but I, 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 I remember from last time now that mm. I did not use the pause feature at all. Mm. I just, I just found it distracting. Yeah. Ugh. What? <laughs> Boom. Fair? No. <laughs> not fair at all. Like it should start with a clear screen. Aww. Shouldn't it? Like start with a yeah, clear screen. Yeah, I was not a little surprised, but usually throw you in the middle of like a block. Did you wait before you hit? your button to restart uh I, I usually wait a bit but well I don't it doesn't know. it doesn't show that anything it just makes it black but yeah yeah uh, i don't know and i put a block uh, right in front of me yeah like, it, not even time to react even it, if i did use the you. button it had it out for you oh, oh. sorry we'll That's be done okay. soon i might have to run up and get, a the coffee. Flashy game. get another coffee anyway Feels like rain's coming. The window's open right now. I can smell rain. Yeah. <laughs> it has been forecasted, but I thought it was supposed to be nice today. I thought it was supposed to be nice today too, but it's a little cloudier today. We've had very nice weather. Yeah. Very nice weather to be stuck indoors. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't have to be stuck indoors, but yeah, it's, it's better too. It's better. Avoid the plague, people. Oh my god. Yeah. But uh, thankfully. Our area is not that bad hit uh, compared not, to other yeah, places. We're not as, yeah, we're not too dense. We have parks and stuff and yeah. open spaces to walk People around. People stay away from each other. So very generally. grateful, very grateful for, oh, it's hard. Oh, is there a kitty showdown happening here? Is there? I don't staring know. They're staring? They're, they're sniffing, oh, sniffing each green. other. And a dead. Oh, no. One more. I'm at 23, all so right, not all too right. bad. It's a good game, though. I like really it. Really fun. I really, it's really Very fun. Very addictive. I, I would prefer a little less flashing. That's a personal, personal opinion. 
It's but, getting to uh, me a little bit now too. Yeah. But it's I do like it. It's very hard to it's, look at. It's a really nice concept, and it's a good, as you say, it's well balanced. It feels, oh, it feels yes. hard Damn enough. It. Damn it, twenty six. It's easy enough to play and hard enough that keeping it up for a long time is is tough. So. Yes, that's why we had triples in air sea combat. Yeah, because it's just a, a switch. It's just a you just change something, and now you have triples. You have doubles. You have double wide. You have the oh quad size things. Oh. It's it's like literally a switch. Mm. And the greens and uh, yellows are doubled or tripled stripes, sprites for our missiles. So there we go. There's Quantum Tunnel. Lots of fun. Very flashy. Not good for you. Good game, though. Yes. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not harping on that. It's a good game. Hold the button. And this game, we Ready. need a second player for. Because it is a two-player game. Excellent. I don't think it has AI in it. This is a game that was called Pickle. Pickle! Made by EA Smith, and he has renamed it to Hotbox and improved the graphics oh. on it. Oh, it starts right in. So, let me disconnect. That. The pulsing of the objects you catch seems pretty integral. Option to dis yeah, an option to disable flicker. Um, I don't know if the pulsing really does anything. I mean, it visually looks a lot better because yeah. otherwise they just be more, squares. Yeah, yeah. You, it gives it something. To... You as a square catching other squares, mm -hmm. and it looks very basic twenty six hundred like seventies yeah. twenty six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I don't. I don't know if the slow like like I said half it's, speed maybe. It's even? not. It's not. Um, I don't think it's the objects coming at you that bother me. It's the. It's that you are also flashing. So if mm. if, if you could. If that if wasn't are, flashing, because that's what you're staring at, I think it would true. be less. Um, you're staring at yourself impactful. a lot. Yeah, you're you're game. really looking at that blue box. So. So this yeah. was first posted as pickle, uh, April twelfth, two thousand eighteen. This mm. build is from March seventh, two thousand twenty. Uh, it's a four K game. Other games made by Ema A Smith. Uh, one versus one baseball. One versus one pro tennis. Alien attack. Alien revenge. Beer pong. Championship golf. Fish fight. Uh, this game. Kung Fu Combat, One-on-One -on -one Basketball, and Pro Bowling. He likes his sports games. Mm. Um, availability in the Atari Age forums. The original Pickle is sold out at Good Deal Games. I don't know if he's going to bring this version back, like this updated version on a cartridge. Uh, we last played this two years ago as well, July 14th, 2018. And I do remember it was you that we played this yes, with. Yes, it does sound familiar. Yeah. Um, so there is a pickle puzzle challenge in this game that still nobody has solved. Mm. Um, classic Sandlot games now in the Atari VCS. Be the first to solve the riddle and win a cash prize of $200. The runner-up wins a Sega Genesis console and a Mario Lemieux hockey. Um, mm. You have to f photo of your TV screen showing the Easter egg screen. Provide in writing the solution and complete mm. explanation of the riddle. Okay. Which we wouldn't have to do because it's on video. Uh, you'd see it. And keep the solution a secret until the winner is announced, which we can't do because we're streaming live. <laughs> if we find it. <laughs> he said we got really close last time really? to solving it. I don't remember but we what didn't we did get last it. time. <laughs> we were like, like throwing back and forth at different time intervals, like at the certain time we were throwing it. Oh, okay. It was That's something like, to do. and you're trying to match up numbers, like at a trying to get like 12 12 12 or something matching up i'm not sure it yeah was, we, you yeah. said we we're close we we're thinking about we were the right thinking, things we were thinking in the in the in the right lines logic hot box from whack bat in mr F fantastic mr fox is what i thought of when i see the game, the game title, title. Ah. Mm. um instructions pickle well this is for pickles the same game the classic sandlot game is now on the atari vcs pickle is for two players and uses the joystick controller players alternate between controlling the runner controlling the thrower, throwers. When the runner is tagged out while off base, the players swap roles. The first player to steal 11 bases wins the game. Um, game player instructions. The runner must be tagged with, with the ball while off base. Then the players switch roles. While throwing, if the joystick is pressed up or down, uh, the top or bottom throwers respectively will return towards their bases after throwing. Otherwise, they'll stay in place. Oh. Throwers cannot cross the midway line. 
throwers cannot stall. You must throw every 12 seconds. There's a 12 second timer down in the bottom left. Mm. Uh, runner must steal a base every 60 seconds. There's the 60 second clock. So those are the two different clocks for the mm. two different people. First one to steal 11 bases wins. Uh, runner's initial lead off towards destination base is limited while that base's thrower holds the ball. Player zero difficulty B. Mm. So you can turn that off or on how much you can lead off the base. Occasional random throwing errors will happen. Runner will occasionally fall. Color will turn black and a runner will be immobilized for one second. Mm. Uh, optional option to allow pegs when the runner is out if hit by a ball so you can hit him in the head <laughs> um difficulty a so we're not on that right now okay uh runner can step sidestep in this mode okay i'm totally confused again okay we have to play this a couple of times to get... so i am this dude okay. right here i'm you're, the runner you're the runner i'm trying to get and i have to throw the ball so you have to pick up the ball which is on the ground right now so oh, you have I to get the ball. Oh, I just went off the base. So, oops. Oh. So I have to throw it. Oh! <laughs> Every twelve seconds. Oh, okay, gotcha. But I have sixty seconds. You have to throw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. I'm, I'm not doing very well because I'm not thinking. I don't know if this is really fair. You have to be really fast. <laughs> it's the switching back and forth, which isn't necessarily the easiest. Because right now I'm just going to wait till you throw it then i'm gonna wait till you throw it again oh, oh and then i go. got you so i'm just gonna wait till you throw it because i can't really run oh error <sighs> oh you got me <laughs> Oh, hit me in the head. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have stolen the base there. <laughs> could have. I'm not, I'm, I'm, my brain, yeah, <laughs> it's not quite. Oh, yeah, so I have to, you have to avoid being hit, too. Yeah. Ah. I'm kind of, it takes a while to kind of get, <laughs> I'm not moving. Not while you have it. Run right into you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Error. was terrible. Error. Gotcha. Oh, ow. <laughs> yeah, going straight is not a good plan. I didn't mean to do that. Stay on the base. <laughs> Stay on the base. Oh. Error. Yep. Ah, that was bad. <laughs> oh, 11. Oh, you got it to 11. Nice. 11, 8. <laughs> not bad. No, that's not bad. That's pretty oh, fun. Press the button. Does it reset? No. no. Oh. Edward. <laughs> make me get up. <laughs> oh, you didn't Aaron. make it up. Oh. You can only move the one that's got the ball. Yep. Ow. <laughs> if I can smack you, I'll smack you. Ah! Oh, close. Just beat you. We run at the same rate. I'm not moving. Ah! 
<laughs> Go get the ball. Oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, I should not run in this. Yeah, straight, straight lines. Line. Straight lines are not a good way of doing it. There's a couple errors. Like you can see the ball twice sometimes. Oh, oh that was silly. Where am I? Ow. <laughs> Ooh, almost pegged in that there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, why would I move? I you have know. to throw the ball. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's a good tactic. Ah, I'm getting tactics now. I'm figuring it out. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh. I always forget you can you can you can go after the person too. Yeah. <laughs> Dan ABC says it looks good. It does. Is. It's, it's really a fun. Really good two player game. Yeah. There's a lot of oh. A lot of little things you can do. <laughs> oh, oh, that was lucky. Just made it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, just. Oh, now you're getting ahead of me. Oh. Yeah, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Tied up. One Excellent. more game. Sure. And we will then try and figure three. out the puzzle. Uh, okay. Oh, that is just brutal. Come on. You have to throw it. Oh. <laughs> Error. Oh, you're going to destroy oh. me. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big error. That was a big error. Yeah. Yeah, so I can only sidestep a certain amount. Yes. Yeah, I can I can move a lot more than you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. What was that craziness? I don't know. And the angle of the throwers can only be um, so much. Like, I can't throw here to the here. Yeah. I can throw like. Ugh. Uh, ugh. Nice. <sighs> oh, and you run at the same speed. Yeah, I do. you kind of. It, if you wanted to uh, increase the the um, difficulty, make the, the person throwing run just, run a faster. just slightly faster. Oh, you got me. <laughs> oh, come on. Error, error. Oh, I almost don't like being off the base. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not thinking. Throw it. You're gonna lose a point. <laughs> oh! Uh, Oof. Oh, I almost didn't hit the base. The scampering sound is funny. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. It's pretty awesome. Oh! I didn't realize I was that close. Oh, come on! Oh! Ow! <laughs> That's the most fun part. Beaming me in the head. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you got to take advantage of that. Yeah. Oh, too close! <laughs> no. There is a bit of an error here, like um. Ow. Ah, 
Ah, you got me. <laughs> hey, you want to stay? Ah, that. You do, You don't want to stay in the line of fire. What oh, the hell? Oh, you almost hit me there. <laughs> I thought I did. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, come on. Nice. See, those, those errors are good. That's good they put those errors in the yeah. game because otherwise the, it's runner, a little, it's, the runner can't get yeah. past you if you set it upright like yeah, that. that's true. You top guy down a lot and yeah. move the bottom guy up a lot. And you can pretty much cover the whole screen. But with the errors, you're like, nope, it's tossed to the side. <laughs> that was fun. Um, Two out of three. I just want to show that there is a, an issue here. Okay. Like there. There. Oh, the head! Ha 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 ha! He's got a big head. Do it's, it again. Do it again. <laughs> he's got a big haircut. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> kid kid play. play haircut. Like it. <laughs> I can have a big upper body and uh, Ooh, muscly he's a big, body. He's a big. He's a he's or, a or muscle builder. Pants pulled up to your. Uh, <laughs> uh, 80s era uh, <laughs> grand grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. Or super long legs. Or big feet. I like it. It's awesome. There you oh. go. Platform shoes. Platform shoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like the kid and play best. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. So there's a slight miscalculation in the drawing uh, of good, the guy though. at the middle. Yeah. Does it happen with these guys? No. No, because they can't get up that high. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's about the only error, really. Yeah. No, it looks pretty um, tight. So there is something that you have to get and i think you have to match up all four numbers mm. on the screen mm. now what do we do before 12 12 12 what well, was, what only, was, what was the puzzle go, you didn't you, see what the puzzle was they don't you have to figure it out oh there's no there's no hints i thought there was a hint no, there's no hints oh. i think the only thing there is is numbers yeah i think you have to match up all four numbers um you can go up to 11 on the top, so it's either, it's 1 through 10, at least. I think it's going to be 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay. Now, to get 10, 10, 10, 10, the top two numbers are easy. That's easy. That's easy. And then you have to time up the throws. Yes. The throw to the 60-second counter. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get it, so you throw. Right now, at, when does it switch? When you let go, it yes. When you press the button. So you have to press that button when that's 12. 12. Because it goes so to it 11. Matches perfectly. Yeah. So when that's at 12. So we just need to... Get 10 points each. Okay. So. I'm, I'm already confused how I have Let's to reset. That. Well, we just do one to one. Well, it doesn't matter. We need to get the 10 first. Right. Yeah. And then no one scores. And then we set up the timing. So... Yeah, the stretching occurs where the solid sole black line, uh, is there a technical reason why? Yes, because the black line is there because of, what is it, H move? Mm. So you get your 10, just go back and forth. Oh, right, and then you go back and forth. That's the easiest way of doing it. But your timer doesn't reset. Doesn't matter right now. Right. And then, then I'll hit you with the ball. <laughs> yes, that's right. first okay. okay and then then come here gotcha okay now so you run back and forth sounds intense intense ha 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 kev <laughs> <laughs> it's always good for puns excellent six seven eight nine and stop. Okay, so I'm okay. going to go here. So I'm just going to throw these guys back and forth, and I'm going to do it. Well, you might lose it, but... So I have to do... Let's try and just sync these up. So five, four, three, two. two. Yeah. Yes. So I just have to t throw it on 12. No matter, like, whenever. As long as I throw it on 12. And then it should be 10, 10, 10, 10. And then it's supposed to trigger an Easter egg screen. screen. But this this seems too easy. Like, we should have I been able know. to do this last time. But we did it 12, 12, 12. Uh -oh. oh, that could be a problem. 
Yeah, ready? You're almost at 12. 3, 12. 10. No. Nothing. So it's not 10. Could be 1, 1, 1, uh, 1. Are we doing every number? Uh, yep. 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> Can't be. Because the game's yeah. over. Oh. No. No, it's still 10, 10. So let's try 11, 11, 11. <laughs> we can't. The game's over at 11. Oh, yeah, it's true. So if I do this, oh, but no, baby. it's over. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's got to be less than that. Could be yeah. 1, 1, 1, 1. Oof. Sorry, I have to use the washer. Oh, very quick. I can't. Okay, I'll you can, do it. You can set it up. So we're going to do 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah. Try that first. I'll have to tag him out. Okay, and then... Well, she's going to miss it. Okay, you go off to the side. You go there. And then, theoretically, if there's no error thrown, even if there is an error thrown, it's still fine. So now I just have to do it at... I'm still 12, because they still have to match up. Title says RGB Atari 2600, but is, isn't it composite? Yeah, I haven't switched it. <laughs> I haven't switched it from saying RGB to... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I messed it up. Because you actually get a point. Damn it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'll have to switch that. Or I'll turn off that RGB modded. In a second. <laughs> uh, I have to tag you out. And I have to get a point. And off to the side, and I just have to make sure I do throw it, and not not throw it. And I still have to do it at 12. Uh, there are ways to circumvent multiple routines. Developer would have to re, uh, write a couple repositioning routines to do a workaround. Uh, okay. H move creates a back black line, so I was right with the H move. Okay, now we just... Ugh. I should throw it with some time left, so in case I do mess up the throw. Uh, okay, do one more throw, and then I should be fine. And throw it on 12, 13, 12. Now it should go down to 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah. Okay. We'll be here for a while. 3, 3, 2... Nothing. Are we gonna do all of them? Let's do. Let's. What should we do next? Nine. Uh, eight. Actually, we can no, still do this. We can still do there's this. There's no hint. Okay, you pick it up. We can still do this. Okay, we're at three. So let's do three, or should we do nine? Go get some points. As Run. I'm red. Run. I don't want points. The blue needs points. Are we doing three? Touch okay. me. We'll do three. Might as well, I guess. Do it. Okay. Okay. Pick it up. Throw it to the other person. Get them close together. Press the wrong button. Okay. Ah. Now, because there's errors, make sure you throw it under 24. Because if there's an error, then that means you can go pick it up and, and correct for it. No, oh, press it! Now we have to do it at four. What? You can't not press it. Oh, sorry, I'm not thinking. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no, you have to get it. Now we yeah. have to do it at five. Okay, you run. I don't know. Is there anything okay. associated okay, no, to, the, to the game as far as numbers that would give away what the numbers should be? Yeah. Because you could have any combination. There is. There's something on the front cover okay. um, that I'm going to look at. Okay. Not yet, because we're going to try five. Sorry, I forgot the 12 seconds, You the score goes up. Yeah. You do have to keep bouncing it back and forth. Release date? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. Are they birthdays? I, we did mention the cover, and I think he was like, oh, yeah, that's that's something. Yeah, author's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a bunch of numbers on the cover. Oh. Do you have the cover? Yeah, I'm going to bring it up. Twelve. Oh no! That's fine. That's fine. Just because all you have to do is press it at That's twelve. That's true. Five. five, five, five. No. Oh, you know what? 
on the cover there's four numbers and i think you have to match those four numbers isn't that's that what, what we did was. though and i swear we did do that yeah. and it didn't work okay let me look it up hidden date of the true apocalypse yes author's birthday release date yeah lots of options there okay Now, he did release this um, on the Atari Age forums as Hotbox, and then, but the riddle wasn't included in it. That's what he calls it. I like how there's a tiny animation when you throw. Oh, is there? Yeah. His, 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 he, it's like he's... Okay, press it again. Oh, yeah, little, little thing. On both he, guys. Well, you gotta have goes, that. Eh, eh. You gotta have that little little things in there to make it seem reason uh, yeah, realistic, good. I right? Like it. Yeah, it's well done. Okay, let's go to pick. Yes, Jared Gray West. We already played Quantum Tunnel. Yep. Sorry you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, uh, enjoyed great, it a lot. Great improvements. Um, we were just having trouble with the flashing. That was about it. Yeah. Um. Tanya's sensitive to flashing, um, so we're thinking, would it work with a little bit less flashing? Slower flashing? Something. Oh, not that one. No, 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 no. Don't open that. Uh, <laughs> and just throw them back and forth. Yeah. got PDF of the instructions. Come on, load up. There we go. Oh no, this isn't the cover. Oh, here it is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely it. Six, nine, five, and 33. And I swear we did this last time. I swear time. we did too. But we'll do it again. Okay. Can you restart? Yeah. Six. Okay, so red has to be six. See, it even corresponds properly. Oh, no, it doesn't. Almost does. Six, nine. Okay. So I will get the nine. nine. Ah, yes, I could put in a setting that could be changed to reduce the flashing. Yeah. yeah, we were thinking about that. Just like an option to either slow down or turn off the flashing. Yeah, that was... and Probably not <gasps> turn off. You, you made ten. Oops. Um... Probably because not I turn off. The ball. Like, slow Actually, it down. I didn't throw the ball, so so pay attention. I picked up the ball, so. Oh, I see. And so it was counting it down, it, and it, it turned over. Okay. Yeah. So tag nine. me. Nine. You need nine. Oh. So I'm saying, just just pay attention to this right now. There's n okay. So there's nine. Okay. Tag me out. Okay. okay. Now you run. You do have to throw the ball. Yep. I'm setting that up. Six, nine, five. So you have to get six. Okay, I'm, I'm at... Okay, so now, just keep bouncing it back and forth. So how do I get 33 and five? So... What, what time do I have to throw it at? 12 so... needs to be at 45? Okay. Messed up. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We calculated that too late. Twelve. You have to add... Okay, throw it, throw it. Thank you. No, we're, we're, too, we're too late. We have to do, the, do it all over again. No, no, you have to throw it back and forth or the numbers go up. It's six and nine still. So keep, oh. keep throwing it back and forth. We just have to time out the timer. No, because that one has to be 33. It's well past that. You can't get that back up. It's oh. going to wreck the score. Here. Here, hit me. It's going to wreck go. the score. It's not going to wreck the score. Oh, it doesn't. No. Okay, good. We can keep trying it. Okay, let okay. me get out of the way. So when? Five has to go up to 12. So you have to add seven. So you have to add seven on 40. You have to throw it on 40. I did. Okay, we'll tag out. Five and 33. 
It's six nine five thirty three. It cycled through that. Did it? Yes, it did. It didn't work. Oh, let's try it again. I did the math in my head. Six I nine it. five thirty three. It. it cycled through it. And it so showed that on the screen. It showed it on the screen. Well, I think so. Then we did. Was that nine? Yeah. Tag me out, quick. It doesn't oh, matter. It's... It doesn't matter. It's all reset now. Somebody so... confirmed that it showed on the screen. Or was it at ten? Did it? I don't think it cycled up to ten. See, I totally missed it. Can we try it again? It, it cycled through it. It Six, showed those numbers? Nine, five, thirty-three. For sure. Yes, and nothing happened. Okay. So something else needs to happen at the same time. Six, nine, five, thirty-three. Am I crazy? <laughs> Did people see it? Did it actually cycle through? Because I was looking at trying to calculate it and... I didn't see it happen. I thought I, unless that moved to a 10, but I don't think it did. I need to go back. I need to look at the video. <laughs> Can someone rewind? Okay. Well, if you think it happened, then it only takes like 20 seconds yes. to do it again. Yes. See? I okay. supposed to. Thank you very much, I suppose. Well, then 69533. So there's something else to it. Do you have to be doing something? Do we, do we, uh... See, six, See, they all nine. have balls in their hands, so it doesn't seem to matter who's throwing and who's catching. Yeah. No one's running. So, like, it's possible that you you have to have the ball in the right hands, but... Oh, you know what? What? Is it over? It's over, but we can okay. restart. What, what, what? Say what first. Those colors don't change, do they? What colors? They do. They have to be the right color. What do you mean? Blue, red. It was. Blue, red. Are you sure it was blue and red? The colors change? Yes. So In this is sense? the color we have to have it on. Oh, six, nine. So was the five red? That's why he said we're really close. Oh, that's why. So the blue has to be throwing. At the end. At the end. Yes. Okay, let's try that one more time then. Okay. So how, what does red need to be? Uh, six. Six. But don't don't do it don't do it don't do it Cause why because I have to switch I have to be throwing doesn't matter Th okay throw it oh yeah okay here because we can switch without having trouble Get me. oh it's too late now it's too late oh. you waited too long to, to tag me out don't worry about that because you can you can go back and forth without so you need nine Okay, you're at nine. Yep. Now I'm going to tag you out. Okay. And now I have to go back and forth. To six. Okay, you're going to have to throw it at some point, though. Yep. And we're in the right color scheme now. Yes. And throw we worked it. before because you were throwing it. Okay, so now throw it back and forth. At and you 40. Wanna, you want to throw it at 40, so keep throwing it back and forth so the score doesn't go up. Okay. Five, four, three, two, two one. one, throw. Okay. So five and 33. Oh, it oh you're it was off. off. I Keep pressed it too it. early. Keep throwing it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no, you can't. Tag, tag. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. Now let's switch again. Tag. Okay. okay. So I had to wait. I, w I pressed it on the number instead of right after. You want to press it right on 40. Yeah. Okay. Four, three, two, one, 40. There you go. It's going to work. Five and 33. Nope. Didn't do anything. It's exactly on the cover. It shows those numbers. Do the oh, it's seven. No, it just it just turned oh, over. Oh, did it? It turned over. Are you it sure? just turned over. Oh, okay. Damn it. Yeah, it did. So maybe this demo version doesn't have it in it anymore. It does. I don't know. It does. He said he actually said it didn't, and he added it in. Six nine five. Did you pick the right game? What? Because there was. 
I picked the game that was oh, there. Oh, okay. I think there's only one. Yeah. He says something about baseball history. Mm. Well, why would he put those numbers on that on the instructions? If he didn't want that exact. No, that's definitely what it needs to be. Yeah. It's just what else is? Do they have to be in certain positions? He has to be on a on on the base. Well, there's yeah, I don't know. No. Shows the blue guy on the base, the blue guy at the bottom throwing. On the form, it says it's an in, it is interactive with manual and game and baseball history. And that's the hint. Hmm. Let's see. Pickle, Atari age. Uh, okay, that doesn't say anything about it. Additional improvements. It is interactive with manual and game and baseball history. At least we can get the six nine five thirty three. Pickle riddle. I've finished blah blah blah. First person to solve the riddle does not actually require two players. And provide a screenshot, solution, and correct explanation receive a $250 cash prize. So it went down. I might also make a patch. <laughs> Details will be included with the cartridge, but I'm unsure how to anticipate demand. Uh... Hmm... Look up the number is six nine five thirty three. Uh, those might be baseball players. <laughs> we are not the people <laughs> for yeah. for that kind of challenge. I mean, we can't win it anyway because we don't have the cartridge. True. True. But we nobody has solved it so far. There's definitely, I mean, I, I think, I think that's right, but I think there's something wrong with maybe the players' positions or. Any other people? I don't know. Got any guesses? Any suggestions out there? Or someone's figured it out and they're like, no, I'm going to figure it out myself. Get the game. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Can't find your quote. Oh, hot box. Oh, it's under the hot box thing. Okay. Dusting off the riddle contest too. If anyone can solve it, must have a screenshot of an Easter egg and explanation of riddle. What? It doesn't say that. Where does it say the? Maybe in the form somewhere. Well, that's what there's I'm looking what? at. There's what? Scroll down. Oh, there's a hidden riddle hidden in the game. Can you solve it? It is interactive with manual and game and baseball history. So we have the manual. So I think we've got part of the the puzzle figured out because he he references the manual. Yeah. And the game, and baseball history, and that's the thing we're missing, and we will not be able to figure that <laughs> out. Unless six nine five thirty three relates to a very specific game, and then the the players have to be in a certain position relative to that game. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Yeah. Lower, lower. <laughs> lower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no idea, and we're gonna leave that to somebody else because with more baseball knowledge because yeah. we won't be able to figure out the last piece of the puzzle so we have no idea about baseball history that's needed 
Like it could be those numbers are associated with certain players. Well, and and and, and a, a specific game and the position of those players. I don't know. Yeah. You'd have to. We'd have to do a little bit of searching on the internet. I think. Yeah, and I wouldn't even Someone, know. or we've given it away, and someone else will figure it out in, in the interim. Press one. <laughs> Press one. Sure. Ready. So Ready. we're on to our last game, Starfire, and this has a patch that we're going to be trying to get. And the score for getting the patch is 3,500 points. And I don't think it's going to be simple. This says amazing music. Let's listen to music. So, uh, this is, game is made by Cybergoth. Uh, it was first posted November 5th, 2002. That when, that's when the demo was announced. This build is from August 6th, 2003, when uh, he released it on Atari Age forums for free, along with the source code. It's an 8K game, uh, F8. Other games uh, he's made, Colony 7, Crazy Balloon, Gunfight, mm. Seawolf, and Starfire. So it's available in the Atari Age store, still on cartridge. Um, also available in the Atari Age forums. Uh, we last played it um, just over a year ago, February 13th, 2019. I'm not sure if we knew about the patch then or not. Really like the title's drawing effect. Yeah, yeah that is it's really, really, really awesome. good. And I've been trying yeah, to figure yeah, out yeah, how yeah. they, how he did that. Like, it's really cool. <laughs> Like, it's drawing every pixel of that. Like, yeah. It would have to know every spot. I, yeah. I guess it could be stored as dots, but it's not really. That's how it's stored. It's really cool. I don't know how. Yeah. Tracing the borders. Yeah, it's, it's incredible very, very effect. Cool. Um, so, let's see. Uh, so, this is about the patch. I'm proud to announce... The manual's new Atari 2600 game, Starfire, can now be purchased in cartridge from uh, from the Atari store. Fire, Starfire is a wave-based space shoot 'em up based on the Exidy game, a uh, car arcade game from the same name. It includes several surprises you won't see in the arcade version. Additionally, the first 50 people who purchase Starfire and send in proof of reaching the score of 3,500 points will receive a free Starfire patch. Picture to the right, and um, you could see that on my title screen before the show. Um, Starfire features a new label and manual by David uh, Dave Exton, with the patch design by Dave Exton and Lee Kruger. Manual uh, Pollock has also released Starfire source code as well as PAL and NTSC binaries that you can download and play in your favorite emulator. So let's jump into it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the instructions say shoot everything, um, but there are some more things to it. I should avoid the uh, black. Uh, the red... Shoot that, shoot it, shoot it! Shoot. I don't know, I don't shoot know! Shoot everything. Avoid that. I don't, yep. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> shoot all the green things. You won't... How many shots do you get? I feel like I'm not shooting... Infinite. I feel like I'm not shooting at all. Jeez, this is hard. <laughs> this is really hard. I don't feel like I've... Okay. I have control, either. Weird. Yeah, this is very much a Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, oh, let me try and get to how to actually play. Um, it's drifting too, or they're drifting. I don't know they're what's moving. going on. They're moving. The, terrible. The main, main center window, you get a direct view of your surroundings. Right below that is a meter showing your current laser heat. The bigger red bar. The hotter the laser, the laser. If the laser is going to get extremely hot, the ship's diagnostic systems. We'll jam it in oh order God, to prevent really burn hard. burnout. At the bottom of the screen, your radar readings are displayed. The inner area of the display shows all the objects right in front of you. The outer area shows what's sneaking in from the sides or from behind. Uh, gameplay. There Use your joystick to maneuver your starfighter. Push your joystick forward and your starfighter will dive. So, normal 
um, flight kind of yoke movements. You have to get down is up and up is down. You have to shoot that white thing as well. Oh my goodness, I can't. It's terrible. <laughs> Press oh. the fire button to shoot your lasers. You can also hold it down, I believe, as well. I, I now realize you have to avoid the red things. What is that? Avoid overheating your lasers. Maybe reverse the Y axis. Well, we can't. Oh. Oh, you made it this up. Did I? Um, now that you've entered enemy territory, your. Square of 91. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is what is the... 3,500. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Scan your radar scope at the bottom of the screen. The box in the center will show blah, 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 blah. Warning, Exidy fighters are equipped with a wave-absorbing shielding, rendering them invisible to your instruments. When an enemy comes into view, maneuver your ship into position and fire your lasers. Ah, get out of the way. Uh, after, after rapid firing, your lasers may become overheated. When this happens, the firing mechanism will shut down for a few seconds while they cool. I don't even see the red bar. Yeah, it's at the Oh, bottom. there it is. Okay, it comes up. You can shoot that too. I, I can shoot the Death Star? Everything. Except, actually, you can ah. shoot everything. You've got to sh avoid those red shots from yes. them. Yes, they can't be on your screen, which I did not realize immediately. I haven't yep. played these kinds of games before, so I'm learning as I go. <laughs> Come on! Ah! I, I want a rapid fire, but it doesn't really work Hold that way. Hold it down. Hold down the fire button. Hold it down? There you go. See? But it's going to overheat eventually. Well, hold yeah. it down forever. But, yeah. but hold it down. That'll help. Uh, Star Master is like a strategy version of the Starfire arcade version, with the action sequence being similar to Starfire, but with the added Star Raiders sector amp or map. Yes, yeah. I loved playing Star Master um, back in the 80s, 90s. That was, that was great, switching between the maps and, and this as well um whenever your ship gets a direct hit from enemy fire your shields loses energy to restore shield energy look out for energy diamonds those white things so you want to shoot those oh, oh yeah excellent and that goes to the next level okay um vaporize the energy diamonds with your laser cannons the scramble effect will then convert their energy into power for your shields when you manage to destroy all the hostiles and put a sector back under the control of the Earth forces, a warp gate will appear to transport you to the next sector. So Thomas Yench uh, programmed the Starfire intro screen. So he did the little tracing. Good job. That's yeah, beautiful. Yep. Very, very impressive for, oh. for a 2600 That's... game. That would be something like right out of a demo, what a demo would do. That kind of tracing, line tracing things. Uh, Paul Slocum composed and programmed the Starfire intro tune and additionally programmed the warp sequence, including the warping sound effects. So now you're down to your last sheet. I haven't found any... Um, of the diamonds? Yeah. Uh, I think they, they appear pretty what? randomly. I got them all? That's impossible. Well, uh, I don't know if you want to go to the next uh, sector, because that's going to be harder than this one. Yeah, agreed. Oh, I oh, didn't see that. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally hit it. Very cool. 436. How do, you, how do you ever ten get times that high more. score? That's insane. Only nine times more. Oh my goodness. Hit animation is reminiscent of Robot Tank. Yes, with all the cross, the crossing uh, lines. Great effect. So it's pretty much, I think, that the crossing lines are using all the different colors and all the different um, types of... Uh, drawing abilities of the 2600 so the thicker ones would be like the player characters the thinner ones would be like the ball and the oh, missiles you got me. yeah oh that's just wow 456 is that it <laughs> i thought it was nine something at the end of the last round oh well it's just bad it said wave one i was in the third wave I don't need it yet so i won't no. shoot it. Yeah, it's. Uh, you made it to the third very, wave. It's very drifty, but it's because things are moving on the screen. I yeah, heard, it feels I like. Thought, or maybe not. Maybe I was still on wave one. I don't know. That was very good. <laughs> but I haven't played games like this before, so. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I, I was trying. I had to avoid those red. Oh yeah. Like you have to. You have to scroll yourself off the screen. Enemy fire. Yeah. It's always tough when you're playing a game for the first time, like this style of game. I always find it funny when you're avoiding those bullets. Ugh. You're supposed to hit that? Yeah. Got there it. you go. It takes a lot of hits. Yeah. 
Oh, next oh, level. Oh, damn it. Warping? I guess it's warping. No, I didn't. I, I got hit, actually. No, but it is warping, so. Yeah. It's a warp. Like, the bullets that come on the screen, it's, it's like, oh, if you don't see them, they can't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mentality of it. I think oh, you're is done. that it? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. there's a, there was a star uh, somewhere. There's nothing in your, in your no. map. No. Maybe it doesn't show up on the radar. No. Don't, uh, you don't lose no. anything for looking I around, I guess. less points for... Looks as good, if not better than the arcade game. Wasn't the arcade game in black and white? Hmm. Yeah, get the diamonds. I like the radar on the bottom. Yeah, the radar is good. I saw a diamond. And now it's gone. Oh, there it is. They're, oh, they're around. Oh, I think is. I think they do. They're hard to hit, though. They move. They really move. And they're tiny, so they're... Yeah, they are quite challenging to get. Ugh. Now, it's, now it disappeared. Oh, my God. Oh, it's there. So drifty. Everything's very drifty. It's, it's very like challenging. fighting you at all times. Oh, you got it. Yay, now I'm back up to full. Good. Ah, oh, now I'm down. Oh, I got it. Easy come, easy go. Yep. I want to go. Oh, Yeah, Mark Space is mentioning there's an excellent Backtracks version. Oh. There is always an excellent Backtracks <laughs> version of uh, these types of games. Yes. Yeah, if it, if it was... Nope, nope, nope. Shot it. If it was in the arcade and it was Vector, then it was probably remade either as homebrew or originally for the Vectrex. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I'm at full. Yep, you're doing well. Very good. What did I get up and to? How now? many points? 348. <gasps> so only. It's a slow ramp up. But I think it increases. I, like I hope get so. More and more scores I at times. I hope time so. We're going to be here for a while otherwise. Because I only got 100 points on the first level. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to shoot those bullets now. They're not going off the screen as easily. No. Oh, I don't need that yet. But it does disappear. Like, if you don't get it... It does. At the it, end it of, doesn't I think at the end of the level... It disappears. It disappears. I think if you kill all the bad guys, I don't think it stays on the screen. Because that wouldn't be very fair. To just save it till the end of every level. Damn it, now I need it. Back here, little diamond. Now I need you. There you go. Sometimes in getting the diamond, though. Oh, TARDIS. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I got hit it. Yeah, you have to hit it a few times. I think those extra little things are, are like, bonus. I think you're right. I think you get extra points. You probably want to get them every, every round. Yeah. Oh, did I get it? Yeah. So this should be, like, 500 now? If it's like ramping up, you get more points hundred, per level. Maybe six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So 100, it's like 200, 300. exponential increase in wow. in scores. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Yeah. Oh, Starfire Spirits. So it is a homebrew mm -hmm. by Don, John Donzilla. He's done a lot of games. Yeah. Vectrix games. I don't or? think I have that one. Starfire Spirits. No, I do not. Mm. That would be a very good one to get, actually. Yeah. Third level? Fourth level. Fourth level. Ooh, got two. Two in one shot. Ooh. Of course the patch is long gone. So even if I get the score, there's no patch to be had. Because this was put out 17 years ago. Pretty sure they ran out of patches in the, oh, wow. in the first year. <laughs> so I believe this was a very popular one. Oh, oh, is oh. there a ghost? Oh, ghosty. <gasps> Where is like it? A ghost. Come back here, points. Or a ship? Mm. Kind of looks like a ghost. That's fine. Isn't that the ship that. Um... Damn it! Star Wars character has. Oh my god. I gotta shoot those things more. Boba Fett? Is that Boba Fett ship? I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh my god! I need a star. Ah, oh, What? Down to the last... Gotta shoot those. Oh, gotta do I'll dodge them too. <laughs> Thousand? You made a thousand. Yep. You have to hit nine thousand. No, no, no. Thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five. Oh, okay. It's, I think it's achievable. It thinking? does get harder. 
Um, Vectrex, it's in the Vecmania collection, so I do have it. There we go. What? Starfire Spirits. Oh, it's on the front. Yep, there it is. I do have it up for Vectrex. I will have to play it. Very nice. Yeah, six defensive shields. Yeah, colliding with enemy ships or weapons will decrease your shields. Oh, you can't collide with enemies. Ah, stop it! In this one. Or maybe you can collide with them. We just haven't done that before. Maybe it goes up uh, when you're in the higher levels. Let's read some more about the game. Oh, didn't mean to do that right away, but... Uh... Terrible. Nine points. <laughs> Not enough. I know. I didn't mean to. Uh... Uh, it's a. It is a time of crisis for the Earth forces. Years of constant assault from the Exidy Coalition have left the Earth almost totally defensive, defenseless. That's so funny. They've made the enemy. Ugh. The um, the company that originally made the game. <laughs> Intergalactic intelligence has discovered a new threat. Several Exidy freighter, freighters protected by an armada of smaller vessels uh, have entered friendly sector of space and are advancing on Earth itself, loaded with enough weaponry to completely annihilate the planet. The peoples of Earth have but one remaining hope for victory. Launching from a secret base in the remote mountains, one of the few remaining Starfire-class attack vessels races to counter the Coalition threat. Its firepower an equal match for the enemy, but its rookie pilot, while eager, is young and inexperienced. Something I just thought about for um, games like this. It's always you. You're the one person that can defend Earth. Well, it's not you and a fleet of other... You're over here. You're yeah. Over it's not you and a bunch of other people. Like, there's never other people helping you out on the screen in these games. It's, it's not until... It's actually very rare in a game that you're fighting alongside other people. Then they're controlled by AI. Like, the people on, on your team at the same time. Yeah. It's always you, by yourself, well, fighting everybody on the opposite side. Other other well, things are everyone like, wants to be the hero, so you can still be the hero. All those other people can be like not as great at firing, or like they're kind of there shooting a little bit, but they're not like doing the main killing. Um, other games are like you control everybody, like a fleet of people, and you kind of command them all at the same time. Um, ah, oh boy, too much in a row. Get that. There you go. Um, or other schemes of games are like you with other players and they're all but there's no AI, they're all like actual people. Um, there is no I in team, yes. Playing Elite Dangerous while, uh, while watching here. Awesome, Kev. Um, but it's, I just think it's, it's really rare that there's AI on your team in a game. Well, more modern games have that. Like all the all the um, do they? all the Baldur's Gate games and the RPGs, like RPGs, you often have AI on. You, you're a team of people, and you don't command them at all. You don't give them instructions. You give them. You can give them uh, That's not what I'm scripts about. to run, yeah, but they actually run, about. and and it's. I'm talking about pure AI that's yeah, helping you Skyrim. out. Skyrim, Skyrim does that. That's true, but you, very seldom. You have, like art, but it's 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 RPGs. Yeah, there's people in the town that kind of help out a little bit. And then bit. like sometimes sometimes you have attacks. to heal them, but you have you have like a commander who is running is is playing alongside you yeah. but it's pretty rare it is rare yeah are you dead nope oh doing really well not really <laughs> it's take, taking well, forever you still got half your life half your shields left ah you got to get those reds off the mm. screen like immediately yeah as you get up to these this level which i made it to last time as well you have to shoot those red shots. They, you can't steer them off the screen fast enough. No, not really. It's just too ah. hard. Ooh, that was very close. It's, it's like because, no, there's it's no because time. they're approaching faster. Like, you're still able to steer as fast, but they come at you fast. <laughs> this is an interesting approach. 
kind of scrolling through the the line of enemies. Mm -hmm. And that's not bad, actually, because... Because oh. you get the red ones off the screen. Their shots are going off the screen. Almost. I think the next level you won't be able to do this tactic. No. Because they're almost hitting you each time. The problem is, is I have to recharge my, my shots at a certain point. <laughs> oh, you're holding it down. I think the accuracy is just too low here. It's, it's because the shots aren't that fast. I don't know. This is, it is challenging. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to die really quickly on this Kev level. says, I can hire a fighter pilot AI in my ship in Elite and deploy the fighter and have them fight for me. Yeah, that's pretty much AI. Simple commands like attack my target or recall to ship. No direct control otherwise. Ah, uh, dead. You see, it's very hard dodging the shots at that point. That's your score, 650. Yeah, not very good, but that's okay. You were doing better. How were you, were you just, were you just shooting all the shots then? I don't know if you get points for the shots. No, but were you just shooting all the shots at that wave I level? had to, yeah. Yeah. So you, were you moving all that much or you were just letting things come to you and shooting the shots? Um, I was, I was moving too. I don't even remember seeing that red guy. I think I, I, I didn't random. get to him. Oh, another one. Yeah. Points. Oh, no, they if you get them right away, they respawn. Because I had two Death Stars when I was playing. Oh, really? So they do respawn. You must get extra points. Oh, another one. Wow. I'll take it. So basically, just go after those if they give you the points. Well, don't get shot. Ah. Right. There we go. Overheated. Hmm. Yeah, there are definitely a few games, but it's not yeah. the, it's not that common. It's fairly uncommon. Yeah. I mean, and a more sophisticated game where it can control a whole bunch of different players at once. Yeah. NPCs. Yeah. But yeah, Skyrim's... Sorry, that was my kicking, foot. Uh, kicking our sound yeah, source. Yeah. Uh, Skyrim's the one that I think of with, with the NPCs that fight alongside you. Yeah. And, and that's really cool. And I was never good at keeping them alive. <laughs> no, they Because you have to keep healing them, but you're paying so such close attention to your own fight that you forget this guy dies and then they're dead by the end and yeah. which is sad but it is sad it's upsetting actually I, I i can see why they don't do that too often <laughs> in games because it's yes. like this guy he fights alongside you and then you have one fight and then yeah. he's, he's dead he's so weak and terrible he and always you're like, dies well yeah i'm always terrible at keeping them alive don't like games where you have to heal npcs yeah <laughs> Oh, I should. I knew I should have shot it. Oh well, there we go. I don't know if you get. Uh, sideways is not as fast as up and down. Sometimes. No, it's not. I, I, I think you scroll up and down much faster, and you don't want to change directions or you get hit ah. almost, imme uh, almost immediately. Too much mess on the screen. Yeah. Let me see. Damn it! Two down. Uh. Get those diamonds. Let's see how much points I got for that. Fine. I don't think you get points for shooting their shots. Or it's very minimal, because I just shot a ton of their shots. I don't think you get points for their shots. You want to shoot those, and you want to shoot the actual guys. Oh, thank you. Good job. Back up to normal. Good. I think you, your your accuracy with shooting is much better than mine. Oh, my God. Not hitting oh, my God. Very accurately. Oh. God damn it. Really bad here. Um, calm it down. <laughs> oh, take that. Oh, I saw another star. Yes, yes, yes. Well, what I do is I try and keep my finger off the button until yeah. I get close, and then as they pass through, it's. Oh my god, it's just rapid fire. Oh, oh my god. Terrible! He's the last guy, too. Nope. Two. Two. Oh. One. He's, he's destroying oh you. God. Oh, that was really bad. You get one back, though, don't you, when you go up a wave? I don't think so. I thought you did. We'll see. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, good. And they're like, here's your diamond right away. Right away. We know you're cause, suffering. Because you suck, so you're going <laughs> to need it. We'll just put it right in front of you. Oh. oh. Okay. You can't pursue them too much or you get shot. Ah, yeah. 
Oh, you you gotta dodge them. You you're you're red. Yeah. You're in the red, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm panicking and holding down the button. Oh, it's so it's hard when it starts to get really. And do your tactic. My my just continual scrolling. Yeah. yeah. There, I got it. It's so hard to see that guy. Do you only get points when you pass gray. the wave? Uh, it only shows you the points when you pass the wave. But do you get you... points if you die in the wave? Because uh, I don't I bet think you, you do. do. I bet you do. Okay. Because that would be very unfair. So you were at 400. Are you saying I'm going to die? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am. Uh, <laughs> a thousand. A thousand. So you did, you did earn points. You killed Doctor Who! Liddy is there to carry your burdens. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thousand points. As long as I keep going up, I think Thomas Yench did did say that this is not easy. No. To get the thirty five hundred, this is a, a challenging patch. And I think shooting those extra kind of yeah, if they, if guys, they spawn. if they show up, it's a very good idea. But they're very random. Sometimes there's tons of them. Sometimes there is not. What? Don't tell me that. Oh, Apparently, the, our film is back in the top ten. Oh, it is? In documentaries, oh. yes. I'm trying to see it. 152. Yeah, definitely killing those um, Come on. special enemies that don't shoot you. Uh, yes. Yeah, they're a lot easier to not get hit by, but... What's happening? What's wrong with you, iTunes? Yeah, because we had... Oh, 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 there we go. Hey, we're number eight. Because we had dropped out for like uh, four, d four or five days down to like 20s and 30s and uh i guess people want to see our show today Yay, on a sunday Sundays. Yay. which is a happy happy thing mm -hmm. be gone review trolls well yeah not yet Hopefully uh, MDB can do something about that, but uh, so far nothing. Still a bunch of stupid trolls attack the film. Have you talked about that on, on the stream before? No. No. Because it hasn't happened since. Yeah. What did you do? Oh, hit the... Your mega fire was on. That's... Does, but I don't think it was actually doing anything, was it? Um, it doesn't because in the game it has rapid fire. Yeah. So... That would actually probably slow it down, if anything. Oh. Because then it would register as one button press. Yeah. Um, sure, I'll tell the story <laughs> about about my low IMDb score <laughs> on my film I just made. So, IMDb, for those who don't know, it's a website that <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> ha I'm sure you all do. It's very, very well known. Um, <laughs> has all the wi all the movies on it, pretty uh. much, all the major movies, all the independent movies, um, and you know it lists the cast members and who directed it and who produced it and who wrote it and there's pictures on there, of, like the poster, and you can also review movies on the site as well. Um, I don't think it collects critical reviews. I think it only does use it. No, it shows critical reviews, but I don't think it adds them up. It's mostly about user, user reviews. And um, so we didn't really solicit reviews for our film. We don't ask people to go and review it. Um, so it was it was it had very low number of reviews, but it had a good score. It was like eight or eight point five or something like that. Um, for for a very, quite a long time, while we were doing um, 
the festivals around the world. So mm. people saw it, they went, there reviewed it. There, there were a few, few but we lot. never asked any of our fans. We never posted on our page like, "Hey, go to IMDb," because we don't we don't like soliciting people to go vote for us or do this or that because it's annoying and I don't like it when people do that. So it was, like I said, eight or eight point five, but not very many reviews. And then about a week ago. Um, just about a week ago, um, we because I, I check it all the time. I go to IMDb all the time because it's really useful. <gasps> Into the warp you go. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> IMDb is really useful for information about movies. Listen. It's like, oh, I like this actor. What movies have they been in? Oh, I like this director. What else have they done? Or movies coming out soon. You can see the release dates. And my, oh, my homepage that I start off with is always my film. So I get to see the score on, on our film all the time. Because that's where I kind of launch from yeah. on IMDb, because why not just have that as a launch, padding, uh, launch pad for, for IMDb? Um, and then one day, oh, I look at it, and it's down to 3.3 out of 10. I'm like, what the hell? That's weird. That's, that must be a, a mistake. And I refresh it. And it's 3.3 3 out of 10. You're holding down the button. Um, so I go in and you can take a look at the breakdown of the scores. You can see, oh, how many people voted? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Because it's... No! You vote one. Oh. Oh, I should shut it. Um, you can... Is that your score? Yeah. Beat me? Good job. Really? No. Yeah, I got a thousand on the dot. I thought you got more than that on one of your oh, previous did games. I? I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty that's good for me. Yeah. Um, anyway, you're not getting to the point. It was really low. Do you yeah. want me to play again? Uh, yes. Here, tell your story. <laughs> there, I didn't really ruin anything. No, so. you just started. I, I'll ruin it. So I, look at the <laughs> so I look at the breakdown of it, of the scores, and there's just a ton of ones. All like of a sudden. Do dozens and dozens of ones, all of a sudden, overnight. Mm. Because I check it every day. So within 24 hours, there's a ton of ones. And you can also type out reviews. And there was somebody had left a review saying that the movie was boring. I turned it off halfway through. Um, and then you read the rest of the review. And it's not really about the film. Yeah, there's nothing about the film in the review at all. Uh, no, that one had just barely like, oh, I, I watched the film and turned it off halfway through. Yeah. Unlikely. Like... It's not free right now. You have to pay for it. <laughs> well, there was no detail. There was no detail no. of the film in the review. So no. really, there is nothing indicating this person watched it, the film at not, all. It was not a critical review. No. It be, and it showed that they did not see it because they're not talking about anything, any characters in this, in the film, what it's about. Nothing that would be like, oh yeah, they definitely watched the film. Um, and then they continue on with their review of critical of the general not even the general idea of the film it's they started talking about what they thought the film was about and yeah. it's not about that because it's about something else <laughs> but they thought it was about something else and so you could tell then there was another review another one star review typed up one they did not watch the show they didn't watch the film at all for sure because they were talking about something Unrelated. Com completely unrelated what people think the film is about, but it's definitely not about that. And that's what they were criticizing, the general idea of what they thought it was about. And they gave it a one star. Um, so, I'm like, w what the hell? A whole bunch of one stars overnight and two, two reviews showing that they did not watch it. This was an attack on the film yeah um a coordinated attack because they all came overnight and for months and months tiny little trickles of 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 reviews right and if you look at the other reviews yeah 89 times 10 and 44 times one and a little in between yeah yeah we'll get to that we'll get to that <laughs> why there's so many tens now it's also not great no um <laughs> 
so I look at the other reviews of the people who left reviews, the, the ones. And you go through it, and it's a bunch of films by women or about women's issues. And that's what our film is about as well. It's, it's, it's about women and, and, and women's issues, particularly portrayal of um, larger women in the media and, and in fashion. And um, all these films are about women. And they've gone to a ton of other movies and scored them one as well. And did not watch those films either because they're attacking ideas rather than the film in yeah. their reviews. Just the idea of what they think the film is about. Or they're attacking the lead actress. Yeah. And not their acting, but other things they've done outside of the, act, the acting. Um, so I, I knew this was originating from some group on the internet that got together. Mm -hmm. Trolls. They are trolls. They're trolls. Yeah. Absolutely, that's the what they are. The breakdown is they're trolls. Yeah. And, and <laughs> they're short. They're short. <laughs> mm -hmm. The short answer is yes, they are trolls. Um, so I looked through the FAQ on IMDb about such things. Yeah. And they have several entries <laughs> in their FAQ about trolls and people rating, going in and rating your film with a bunch of ones or even a bunch of tens and they have a couple answers for what can be done about it um, one answer is that it doesn't matter <laughs> that you that this happened because with enough voting it'll be kind of erased um, and that w that applies completely for say Hollywood films that have just hundreds of thousands of votes yeah um yeah there's no way that anybody could coordinate an attack effort on a major film like that um because you'd have to get thousands of people on your side all voting ones or whatever they're gonna vote um number two they also say that they have things in place to prevent that computer uh algorithms, analytics yeah. algorithms they go Tons of ones, all at the same time. Squash them, erase those ones. They don't count. They're not real. That didn't happen in this case. It counted all those ones. Um, like when it first started, I've taken screen caps of all, all throughout the whole time of of the voting as it changed, and it was counting every single one of those ones. So the computer definitely did not pick that up and erase those ones and went, no, they're not real. It's just a bunch of people came in. Um, and so there is no recourse that they, that they have on IMDb to complain about this because they don't think it's... They, they think whatever, things they have in place are good enough, are good enough or there's going to be enough votes to cancel <sighs> it out. But this is an independent film that there aren't going to be enough votes to cancel that out. Uh, maybe down the line, if it gets big exposure for something. It has gotten better, though. It has uh, improved slightly. Yeah, that's, yeah, we'll get you know, to that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But, I mean, yeah, no. time does help mm. a little bit. Okay. Um, also, in th there's, there's multiple scores that a film has. There's the score that you see on the front page when you go to a movie. And that's what's called the weighted score. And what the weighted score is is that not everybody's vote counts the same. <laughs> this wouldn't work in a voting political democracy. <laughs> this would be outrageous. Um, but in this case on IMDb, what they have is they weigh some scores more than others. And they don't say how they weigh them, because they have secret, secret al algorithms, which kind of makes sense. Ugh, here in my mouth, bugging me. Uh, kind of makes sense because if they told everybody exactly how the voting worked, mm -hmm. it would be even more easy to manipulate than it is right now. Yeah, that's true. So it's it's good that they keep it secret, but it's kind of, I think it's very obvious how they weigh it. Not not the exact numbers, but. Oh. I think people who have been on the site longer have a higher weight 
yeah um than others who have just signed up i've been on the site for 17 years yeah it's a long time i've reviewed a couple films not many but a couple i think also how many films you review weighs more mm -hmm. than others which kind of makes sense that oh you're an active user you like giving your opinion you must be very enthusiastic about films um so you would think that they would be fair reviews or at least informed opinions um so what we did because we thought imdb had no cares about our score <laughs> and it was not picked up by the computer algorithm so mm -hmm. we went to our our fans and said hey look what happened we got bombed by a bunch of people they came they left a bunch of ones and left that's what happened they haven't come back yet thankfully i hope they don't Until or they see your stream no. or, or, <laughs> yeah well i've got bigger problems if they ever watching are watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> they're really tracking me down which they can it's, it's it's i'm not that private um doing very well good job better than before <laughs> uh so we went to our fans to say, hey, no, we, we, got, we, got, uh, we got attacked. Um, we want you to give your reviews of the film. Um, we didn't say give us tens. We didn't say anything. We just wanted your... your just review it. Either like type out a review. 1419. Good job. Four. Almost halfway there. Yeah. And so we just said, give us scores, because we wanted to counteract. Yeah. We knew they would probably, like, fans would give you a decent score. Because they're fans. Yeah. They yeah. like the film. They, well, they, they, they already, yeah, they're invested in the film anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we thought, you know, they'd give a good score, something above five at least. Yeah. And that's fine. We just want something on there. Yeah. To balance it out. Yeah. Um, so we said, go rate the film. Yeah. I don't know if it was a mistake or not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our fans are way too enthusiastic. Uh, mostly gave us tens. And so then you have these these extremes. But also, it wasn't even the fact that they gave us tens. They gave us tens on mass really quickly. And also probably created accounts to do it too. And brand new accounts. Yeah. So one, the computer picked it up and discounted most of those tens. Yeah. They have no weight whatsoever because they're all brand new accounts. Almost all of them. Yeah. There's some that have been there for a long time because a lot of some of them are film buffs. Yeah. That we met at uh, film festivals, um, but it didn't work. Yeah. Um, they picked us up as cheating, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. discounted all the tens. So it's kind of where it sits right now <laughs> is that there's a bunch of ones that they think are not cheating, and a bunch of tens they think are cheating. Yeah. And it's, it's all, the exact it's, opposite, in fact. I, I, I mean, I don't doubt that over time things will balance out. And the thing is, if you see a film and you go, oh, the score is low, sometimes that's what motivates you to write a review because you don't agree with it, right? Maybe. Uh, and I think that is a thing. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just, it's, it's annoying because, you know, if you're a big film and you have a lot of viewership, then you're going to get more people going in there and balancing scores out. But if you're a smaller film, yeah. then... You know, you don't, you don't have, have that luxury, exposure. yeah, of the exposure. But anyway, it's it sucks. It sucks. Review bombing and brigading is a way of life for some people on, on Steam. Steam. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's there's, I mean, the concept of of public reviews of things that's been around a long time, and I think when that first started, it was great, and then now people just use tactics to bring people down or bring people up. Even yeah, it, it's very manipulated now compared to when. And these, All that first came into being, right? And these people so, who attacked us know how to manipulate the system. Oh, they're specifically, that's their purpose. That's so their goal. So I think goal, they so. spaced out their reviews enough that the computer didn't pick it up. Maybe, and, yeah. Well, it definitely didn't pick it up. But there were a bunch on one day, so it's got to be it's got to be doing some balancing. But I, I think you're right in that these people, because they have accounts, and they've had accounts for yes. a long time. They're more trusted. They're more they're, weighted. They're, they're getting... Um, more balance in their algorithm yeah. um, because they're users, right? Yeah. So they know that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's dark. No. Anyway. Oh, there it is. It's, it's, oh, it's, I lost it. 
the way it is, unfortunately. Yeah, so we, I found a way to contact IMDb. They did get back to me. Yeah. They said they're going to investigate it. Well, that's good. As needed. They didn't say they were going to investigate. No, but what they'll say is they'll say they'll look at it. They'll look at the people. Something may happen. Something may not. You you don't know. At the end of the day, you could be number six thousandth in their line of things they need to oh, investigate yeah. too. So it's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hard I to ho- say. I hope they look into it. Uh, so far, they just think we're cheaters or our well, fans are cheaters. If, if you're being honest with them about about what happened then they'll look into it i i don't doubt they won't look into it will they do something about it or will they get to it right away both of those things i think are really iffy it could take them weeks or months to actually deal with 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 these things you you just don't know how quickly they'd act on it so i think they put a lot of faith in their algorithm and they don't want to um mess with it like manually alter it but they don't want manipulation either, so no. so I think I think they, you know, what you're saying is is reasonable, and they can see the traffic. Oh yeah, they, they can see exactly what happened and when. Yeah, and um, they have the full log file. Yeah, they can see that it has a weighted score that's really low. Yeah, um, but a median score that's way higher. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can look at it. Yeah. I mean, having a bunch of tens and a bunch of ones is very unusual for a film. Well, it should count in, in a, a weird it's way. Always... They should always cancel each other out, and yeah. you know, like like they should, but... it shouldn't. It shouldn't be that they're weighted. It should be like, okay, well, those aren't useful scores because in reality, if someone's doing a critical review, it should be somewhere in between. It shouldn't be yeah. one extreme or the other. So. And I'd be perfectly fine if they got rid of the tens and the, and ones, the ones because yeah. we'd still have a very decent score and it would be more balanced so, yeah yeah and when you look at other um films yeah um, and they and their scores and their breakdown of scores um it's it's damn, it's a bell curve usually it is yeah or it's a curve up to 10 yeah um ours is not like that it is an inverse bell curve <laughs> and which is not good no. it's it's terrible yeah come on Oh my god. Well, it just shows there's something something wrong with their algorithm in that sense. Yeah. Cuz you expect even if reading. even if a movie gets released or something like that and a bunch of people watch it and decide they want to review it, um you expect those reviews to to vary. You know, like yeah. what someone will give a three, another person will give a five. So they shouldn't all be the same score. They shouldn't all be at one one point or the other. That was so. terrible. Whatever it is, that was one. Um, it, yeah. it, it should be, I mean, statistically. Anyway. Yeah. All of our actually typed out reviews, they've removed the, the ones that um, were by, by other people, the typed out ones, because they were inflammatory and not critical. Yeah. They weren't talking about the film itself. So they did get rid of them. Yeah. Oh, well, that's them. good. Yeah. That's good. Because that's even worse. Because when you when you pull up a movie, it it, it cycles through and will show a, a review, a written review he said yeah. randomly. Yeah. And the worst is like you might see a score, but see a decent review. Yeah. And then you'll go, oh, I'll watch it anyway. But if if the review is is really inflammatory and bad, then that might push you over the edge to not even bother watching it. So. Yeah. So all the reviews we have. Oh. My God. You can, sorry. Our, um, you, can, you can stop talking and start focusing if you want. But, uh, look at that guy's they're all, they're all decent. Like they're, they're all very glowing reviews yeah. that we have. And, and I was saying to good. you, and I was saying to you, you really want a critical review. You want some decent critical reviews yeah. in there. No film is perfect. Um, yours is wonderful, but yours included, right? Like, I'm yeah. sh- people can find things to pick at, and oh, sure. for a decent critical review, you want them to show that they've watched it and they're paying attention. Yeah. So, really, what you need are like some decent critical reviews in there. No, I don't. I, I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, you can put some more in there. There's tons though, and they are there's some that are, are more. None of them say bad things, which is not great. No. <laughs> No, but you know what I'm saying. It's yeah. like you need you need some balance. You need some balance in there. Right now, it's really unbalanced yeah. in terms of score, um, because it's they knew how to manipulate <clears throat> manipulate the system, and they thought we were manipulating the system. Our fans were. We didn't ask for tens. We actually actively said, "Stop rating it ten, please. Yeah. It's not a ten film." 
very few films are tens. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, so that's it is what it is. been on it my mind. Hopefully they'll do something. TARDIS that's the is hope. really easy to kill. <laughs> the TARDIS, yeah. It just sits there. Well, if you... Oh. oh. I like the TARDIS. It's awesome. Yeah, really. Oh, my God. See, you... Do, I'm you, overheating. That's the problem. Well, stop. Stop. Um, you gotta, you gotta move away. You gotta move. Move away. And then I'm overheating and I can't shoot the bullets. Yeah, that's when you have to scroll. Just yeah. continue to scroll. <laughs> yep. Until run away! Until, run away! Until the, uh, until, uh, bar goes your, down. Bar, the bar, your bar goes down. At least that's been my tactic. I'm sure there's some better tactics, but that's been working recently. recently. <sighs> Can we rate it 14? Only a perfect one. Ah, uh, uh, good comments. <laughs> oh, well. I rate it 14. <laughs> Won't work. But I mean, it's 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 selling really well. That's what um, matters. People like it <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I mean, and people watch it. I think at the end of the day, when you make something, you just want people to watch it. What you know? The hell? What hit me? Out of a, the red, a red thing. A red thing hit you. You, you. Oh, I know, but I didn't even see it. <laughs> okay. um, got another one back. But it's a reflection on the film and a reflection on you yeah, because... I know, I know. It's the first thing that comes up on Google when you f Google our film. Yeah. And it's really disheartening. Especially going forward well, as a filmmaker. don't let the trolls win. Just, you know, do what you can. Hopefully I Mentally. IMDb. I know, I know. I know, I know. The, the, I know the I film's know. good. Yeah. That's not my problem. It's, it's other people... Googling the film or me as a filmmaker and going, Oh, I will watch it. Yeah. Oh, look at that terrible low score. I don't think I'll even bother watching it because it's so terrible. <clears throat> and I know it's not. And if they watched it, they would know that it's not terrible, but they won't even watch it. They won't get to that point. Um, but it's the same for at, like even businesses on like Yelp or whatever scoring mechanisms. It's like, Wisdom of the crowds is is what uh, IMDb used as yeah. as an excuse not to correct the issue. I mean, the way I see it, eventually it'll end up on a streaming platform, and it'll be more about does it look compelling oh. to you in Netflix? I don't watch. I don't look up scores of a lot of things I watch in Netflix. I watch the first five minutes of it. Well, that's and if the that hope. if that hooks me, I continue watching it. And and I so I do think at the end of the day. Like, I, I totally understand, and it's very upsetting. Yeah. I do think at the end of the day, it'll it's not going to have a huge impact. I think you'll get more scores in there, and I think when people are scrolling around and they want to watch something and, and the content is, is interesting to them, then they'll, they'll turn it on and watch it for a few minutes, and if they like it, they'll keep watching it. So well, that tends to be how people watch it now. I don't look up scores if I'm looking at documentaries and Netflix. I just kind of look at it and go, oh, that looks interesting, and oh. you press play. Um, you press play right away, so... Well, another concern is prof professionally how it... Yeah. Uh, like, even working with other people, I I go to IMDb and, and look at their past films and go, oh my god, that's a terrible... Because some of them not, are not accessible um, to watch some of their films. And, and, and Or if I'm trying to sell a film to somebody and get financing for the next film and... I don't think that I don't think that that matters. They look it up and go. I don't think oh financing. I don't think they give they give a crap other than sales. And that's a hope, you know. Our, it sells. I, honestly, our, our film's selling really, really well. It's yeah. actually back in the top ten again. Yeah. Which is and which that's is crazy. what's going to matter at the end of the day. So I Stop I don't know. I'm not trying to argue. I know it's it's upsetting. I know that's yeah. that's the big thing is that it's upsetting to see yeah. that. But trolls are assholes, <laughs> and and there are assholes everywhere, and. And you they're know, professional assholes. They're professional assholes. Which means they know what they're doing. And <laughs> yeah. they have tactics that work really yeah. well. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. And you don't know how to combat them because they're really yeah. good at being terrible people. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a big, wide world, and there are a lot of people like that out there, unfortunately. You just have to hope Damn the good it. people balance out the bad people at the end of the day. <laughs> That's yeah. the, best, the best you can hope for. 
and try not to be one of those people yourself. That's yeah. it, really. Yeah. That's my that's my that's my treaties on my philosophy of life. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so hard. Yeah. Assholes are best to be ignored. If some are watching the show now, their miserable personalities will feel happy now. Exactly. You don't want to feed them either. No. You don't want to feed them. Yeah, and we Yeah. I thought about not feeding them, but and it's I hope It's tough. It's tough. And it's I tough. And I hope they don't really follow what we're doing because they could go to our Facebook page and, and see that we're like, hey, we need scores. And yeah. they're probably laughing and laughing. I, my suspicion is, is they're very politically inclined. Oh, yes. From, from what you can tell. Yes. And they just look for films like yours and oh, yeah. specifically go after them. They're probably not focused that much. And, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Back here. Ooh, good. Good, one good. One shot. Oh, I need that plane for scores. It's like, what time is it? My stomach is telling me it's lunchtime. Yep. Someone's cooking Ooh. outside, I think. <laughs> it's nice this Someone's game gives a lot of dots. A lot yeah. Of, uh, little stars. You know what? There's a lot on the Very screen generous. in this game. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> um, there's a lot on the screen. The star field's nice. There's a lot of enemies floating a by. Of a lot of action. A lot of bullets coming back at you. Yep. You know, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. You said it came out in the... 2003. 2003. Okay. So Some fairly early. Fairly early game yeah. and great entry. Yeah. Um... I don't have this on cartridge. I'm definitely going to buy this. This is going to go on my list. Is it? Yep. Wave 6. How would I do? For S26. Ugh. Political reasons. What kind of politics would that be? Alt-right. Yeah, well, you know. I, here's and the thing. And everything goes along with it. Here's the thing. There's, there's whatever your politics, whether whether you skew to the right or the left, the, you can you can skew to whatever side you want nice and person. still not be an asshole. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how I see politics is, is, is everyone has, has problems and they see solving their issues in different ways. <laughs> that doesn't make you a troll or, or, no. or an extremist and, and, and no, but there are people out there who are, and, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, you got to call them oh. out for what they are. They're trolls and they're assholes. Yeah. I need that dot now. Oh my god, just stop firing at me. Like, spend more time yeah. shooting their They still bullets. make new cartridges off this, off or off to eBay. Oh, someone says AtariH.com. No, brand new. Like, you can still order this. This These card. Oh, excellent. Yeah, Starfire. I guess it's oh, a real... On Atari Age? Yeah. Excellent. I guess it's excellent. a really top seller. I can see why. Yeah, it's a great game. It's huge action. Yeah. One of my... I just got it, and then I lost it. I love the Death Star there. Oh! Ah! Awesome. Oh my god. Rage going on here. I just keep. Oh my God! Run, 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 run! I don't know if that's a good idea. That's probably, probably a not. Very but bad you do idea. get one back. You do get one back. Thirteen oh three. Yeah. So oh, you're far. in wave seven. You're getting there. I got to fifteen. But it's a bad thing I'm on wave seven. It's yeah. Very bad. Uh, oh, that. I don't try to give it to you right away. I do. Avoid. Avoid. There you go. You got oh, it. Another one. Oh, that disappeared. Yeah, oh, and another job. one. Another one. Careful. 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 I'm trying to shoot them at the same time. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I'm overheating. Oh, you got that one. Yeah, careful. Scroll. 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 Get the heat down. TARDIS! So oh, it looks the like edge. they cycle through the um, the special characters because the TARDIS has come back. So. Ah, okay, good. I like the TARDIS. Oh, no. It's... Oh, it gets too oh, hard. 1407. Oh. <sighs> Just got back. What is the patch score? It is oh, 3,500. 500. Yeah, that's a really hard patch score. Do you recall last time you played how far you got? No, I don't. It was not near the patch. No. Well, we're not near the patch right now, unfortunately. I, I should not be... Um, chatting? <laughs> no, chatting's fine. Just not intense chatting. Intense chatting, yeah. Um, <laughs> or I'm trying to be articulate. Um, I just not need to not um, skip. You probably get points for those anyway, so I should shoot them even when I'm full on the lowest level. Come on! Oh, okay, another one burst from it. 
and it was moving. Another one. Come back here. Where are you? There you are. I bet you get points for everything. Except for their bullets. I bet you don't get points for shooting their bullets. No, probably not. I'm going to guess. They do, it's a shame oh, it doesn't more. show the points on the screen, because it would be kind of nice oh, to know these things, now but I need it. you can probably calculate it out if you really wanted to. Figure out how much for each shot, if the bullets give you anything. I, I'm sure it's Although the manual. programmer's in there somewhere. They I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. This I, may be a game where it's another day. Yeah. I, I am going to say... When you're done your rounds, I want one more round. Yes. You take one more round. I think we we might have to call it a day then. Yes. My stomach is going to be too. Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to be too hungry. I'll I'm going to be gnawing you. on your arm as you're playing. <laughs> no. Or eat a cat. Or, a, or a fluffy cat, chicken eat leg, over there. You the cat. Hey, first. fluffy, come over here. He hasn't been on. Come here. Come here, baby. Come say hello to your adorable public. <laughs> He's very pliable and sleepy. Oh, I don't is he soft and warm? And yeah. Pliable? Oh, he's licking his lips. He's like, why did you pick me up? Why? Don't like this thing you're doing. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. Oh, oh, went away. It just like disappeared. It's like, no, you're done the level. Yeah. You gonna play? Oh, he's so sleepy. He's sleeping in your arms. No, don't disturb him. It's so cute. He's, he's not sleeping. He's like, oh, oh. Okay, biding his time. He's biding his No, no, stay, 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 stay. You want to stay. You want to stay. Sorry, I don't mean to force you. He gets a little, gets a little frantic. Yeah. And then he'll calm down. It's okay. He's very jumpy sometimes. I'm covered in cat fur. Of course. Problem with wearing black. Depends on the cat. Yeah. You're okay. It's a black cat. It's okay. Yeah, you're okay. You can run away now if you want. I just wanted you to calm down a bit, sweetheart. Oh, a star. oh no! Got distracted by a star. Oh, there it is. There we go. Seems like. The... Oh! oh, God, that was close. Very careful. It... Oh, oh. oh! Oh my God, that guy was like rapid fire. I, oh, I, I find he the is, last guy. The last guy is always rapid fire. I think it's to to force you off. Yeah, look at him. He shot like Jeez. four shots at once. Oh, he's boy. right by the the warp level too. Should I just warp? Leave? Oh, he's gone now. Oh, oh no, he's not. Just oh. leave. If you God. think you can get him. Well, there's no time limit as long as I don't True. risk myself. Risk your life. Which I did. Which you did. I knew that was gonna come. <sighs> Atari, you wanna play? Yeah, you're gonna smack that button with your paw. Smack, smack, treat, smack, treat, smack. treat, please. Yeah. Like the bell, the cat's with the Thress bells. says, I remember it was hard. It Yeah. It just, it ramps up. It's not hard at first, but the bullets, enemy fire, yeah. it gets really fast. It is definitely fast. challenging. It's about maximizing score, too, I think, a little bit. Because the waves get increasingly harder. and Use your tactic. Like, kind scrolling. Of... It, it's been working for me. The scrolling is good for dodging the bullets, but at some point, you have to pause and stop. Get it? Yeah! Ugh. Sometimes they wiggle into position, they don't just zoom by, so that's not bad, actually. A tactic. Going for points and not levels, you want to get everything you can on the screen. Oh, that's the last guy for sure. Yeah. Nope, he's second to last guy. He's just really firing like crazy. There Good we go. Job. Is that oh, it? Sweet I think it is. Not a lot of uh, little diamonds there on that level. No. Maybe the next one they'll give you a bunch. I really hope so. I, f I think it might. Oh, 20? 12.99? That's pretty high for that wave. It is, yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. Oh. Uh, again, maximizing. What, what wave were you at? This is five, I think. Now. Oh. 
Yeah, which that's is, a high score for that wave. Bad. I think that is very good. Yeah. There we go. There's a star. No! <gasps> Oh, oh my no. god, I did, went down two to try and get one star. Oh, watch out. Please. Oh, oh another one. Uh. Oh. oh. Going for the stars sometimes, uh... Deadly. It's deadly. Oh. Oh, oh please, yeah, they go, come on. They go nuts. The last one goes nuts. Uh, on boo! I think you're, la yeah, my lasers are too hot on average, and that's yeah. why I'm missing a lot of the ship, so I've got to watch that. Um, I'll watch it next round, because that's what causes me to not be able to shoot the shoot the guys. Come on, get in my, get my crosshairs. Because you go down quite a bit, like your shots. They go to at least half, half their abilities or less. Why is this not, get in my crosshairs. <laughs> There we go. And uh, you're is done. Is that it? Get in my crosshairs. Yeah, the yep. background stars are really good. Yep. Obviously, the Jeez. title screen. The, um... Yeah, every, everything. I, I can't see anything to complain about. Even the enemies change up after a little while. They become different, uh... Different looking. No. A very, very good star field that really gives you an indication of, of direction. Turbo mode implemented. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And I and I think I was missing those um, stars, the diamonds, because I was overheating. And yeah. not able to shoot them properly. Oh, oh. Got me. and even defend myself. So I just have to maybe use. Oh, oh he got right on me. The edge. Oh. You didn't quite get it up there. Oh. No, that's okay. The last couple ones are. They're they just deadly. go. <laughs> it might be worth not shooting those last yeah. couple. Yeah, I don't know unless you. Because you tend to panic when things are on the screen and you want to hold down the button, but. Get it. Ooh. I'm trying not to strafe because. Yeah. Or whatever you call it. Yeah. I, I, strafing vertically. Um, it's hard to shoot them though when you're doing that. It's really hard to get them in your cross crosshairs when you're just zooming them by. Because they go off the screen, which you do want them to go off the screen quick. Because, uh... Or you want the bullets, anyway, to go off the screen. Oh, tur oh so turbo mode implemented in Stella. Excellent! Oh my god, Thrust, thank you so much. That's going to help a ton for Wednesday's show. Um, did you compile a binary uh, for Windows, fancy. perhaps? definitely beyond my not beyond my capabilities but it's very very difficult for me to compile it um so um if you're able to uh pm me with a link to the binary or if it's already posted in like the github there we go. i can i can grab it from there i can send you one yes thank you very much thrust that'll be like crucial for uh next wednesday show because i could possibly play um, a chess game actually properly now. That would be awesome. So is it like a, a button you hold down or a, probably an on-off? Like you press the button and then you press it again to turn it off. That's so awesome.
because I know they were um, discussing that in the chess thread. Um, and I think you might have even responded in the in the chess thread. It's a toggle. Okay, awesome, perfect. Because that's even better, so you don't have to hold it down. So you can set like one of the chess chess games to. Because I think it's like half an hour was was like the length of thinking time for one of the chess games. It was really long. It was at least 10, either 10 minutes or half an hour. It was crazy for Atari chess. And I can't remember what Andrew Davies' five-ply chess thinks up to, but it's not short. It's many, many minutes. Control T. Okay, awesome. T for turbo. It even works out. It's great that that was available. Do the enemies get darker as they're further away, or they're always the same yes, color? Yes, they, they, they are smaller and definitely darker. That's really cool. Even though there's not really stuff in space that would make them darker. But I oh. guess no light would be on them, because if there's no light on things in space, they just don't show up. Either they have to emit light or reflect light. Mm. So you must be near a star in this game <laughs> yeah. for all the enemies to have have light on them. Or you have a light, or they have a light, or they're glowing green. I'm trying to get to this dude here. <laughs> he rockets pretty fast. Not, he's not like the TARDIS. She kind of just floats it in floats. space. It floats. This guy, like, flies. <clears throat> the problem is how fast your computer can get. Can, I can only get to 600 speed. Oh, really? Oh, it got me. <clears throat> I have a pretty beefy computer, because I do um, video editing. It'd be great for gaming, but I don't game. <laughs> I'm sure it plays games very nicely. <clears throat> and you use GPUs um, for the um, visual effects. I definitely have in a games far and for... worse score than you. Yeah? Yeah, you're, because you're I, I'm not things? even at a thousand, I'm in wave six, whereas you Ooh, hit the end geez. of wave five. And I got but I haven't seen a lot of TARDISes and... Just been unlucky. Yeah, I think so. Nice that Stella now has Turbo, Web Browser, em Emulator, Stellarator, also has a, a limit frame rate that goes fast when not checked. Oh, that's cool. Problem is Stella mostly relies on one CPU. Oh, okay. So you can't implement all the different cores. So there is like a... Even if your computer's fast, there's going to be an upper limit. What, you haven't made uh, Stella into, uh, with multi-core support? Come on, get on it. I mean, it's not really needed, because computers nowadays are ve very, very fast. Oh, I didn't mean to hit oh, it. Oh, no. no well, that's okay. Wave I got seven? most of it. Yeah, I got Ooh, most boy. of it. Yeah, I know. Time for pain. I need pain. some TARDISes and things. I don't... Ooh, get that. Are they? Yeah. yeah, now you have to shoot their bullets. Yeah, they come fast and furious. And they're wiggly oh. too. Wow, they're fast. Oh. Definitely harder than it was. But the thing is, you have to go well past this level to get the 3500, so even this difficult level is not going to be the one that's going to get the, the high scores. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew Multicore is there for TV effects, but it doesn't speed up a lot. Oh, really? You do have Multicore. That's very cool. Uh, the Stellarator author improved the TIA in Stellar, right? Yes. See, I have it. This level here. Oh, there's oh. a TARDIS. There you go. Want another one? I have not been getting them, but I guess I. I maybe because I've been. Um, I think it did get me, guy. but that's okay. Good Maybe job. because I've been going in, a, in I haven't up, been up, looking up at the whole than, I think play field. Diagonal might be the best. I don't know. It depends how easy it is to see. That score's not great for that wave. Good, your best probably. No, fifteen hundred. I got fifteen hundred. But it's gonna be super hard now. <laughs> yes, super it is. Super hard. Yeah, so if it was by wave, I think I'd be doing pretty well. Oh yeah. That's yeah, if it was by wave. Yeah. 
But in this game, you can fast forward the waves as much as you want, pretty much. Almost. I think there's a there's a threshold before it shows you the warp. Oh, what got me with oh. on the edge? Oh my god. Yeah, dead. You almost have Wave to eight. shoot them. Really hard. I did much better on, on lower waves in previous games, but I got more of the the bad guys, like mm -hmm. the special guys. Most of the emulation cannot be paralleled. We were discussing this a lot. Mm -hmm. It's just the timing of it. It's just it's because you're emulating um, hardware. It has to be like one, then the next thing, then the next thing. Mm -hmm. You can't predictively um, execute the code, I guess as easily. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just <laughs> throwing mumbo-jumbo while Just I play die. the game, man. Play the game. Yep, I'm holding the button down too much. Yeah. It's good if you kind of There's a bunch. target, but when it starts oh. to get really crazy, then it, it becomes... There. there it is. Yeah, you almost need to search for it, and then go after it. Yeah. But yeah, you can get multiple if you get it early in the game. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I think yeah. that's the key. You like, have to get it early in the game, so you have to look for it, find it, scroll around, find the, find the dude, kill it, and then... And scroll some more. Yeah. I wonder if it comes before or at the no, same time I, as that. No, I don't think they respawn after that. So, so if it's already there, then you can still get it, but I don't think... And I the think... enemies disappear. Look at that. They're gone. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. It is interesting. There's almost like a time limit on he it. He says something like that. Things have to happen in order. Yeah, yeah very sensitive um, order. It's so a great game. Maybe I should not shoot any of the enemies. Go after these guys. Like, exclusively go after these guys. Yeah, it definitely gives you the extra points. Like, <gasps> look at them. It just keeps respawning in the same spot. Yep. Well, it's not that you can't get, go after them, but you want to keep targeting those dudes. Hmm. Hmm. Like you could still shoot. Cheaty or not cheaty? I don't know. We'll see what your score is like. Oh. Oh god. Yeah. Apparently, is there only so many that they'll let I'm, you have? Maybe. I don't see any more now. You got four. Yep. So. You don't need it, but that's okay. I think it's. I think it does give there, you points. There. See. Now I have to shoot the guys. Well, you have for a warp sure. now, but you, yeah, if you want points, since we're going for points, yes. probably want to shoot all of them. Oh, but they go crazy. Look yeah. how, how crazy uh, shooty they are. Is that because the warp showed up? Yeah, I think it is. And there are less of them. They disappeared. Hmm. Let's see the score. It should be... Oh, so much more score. Yeah, you have to go after them. Target as many of those dudes as you can. You just keep keep going. There you go. Well, this one's going to be easier because it's all targeses. Yeah, the, it's, it's the ship that runs away from you that's a pain in the butt. It's also smaller. It's a smaller target, I find. The ship that runs away? Yeah. Uh, it's longer. See, it's not that you can't shoot those other guys. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I've killed all the... You got two. Yeah. Maybe it depends on what spawns. Because there were definitely four Death Stars. Yeah, I've gotten quite... Yeah. And you got them really fast and all in a row and all in the same plane, too. Okay. Heat, heat, heat go down. Heat go down. Oh, I got yeah, they're firing like crazy now. Yeah, and, and a bunch of them disappear. It's like you have a maximum of three. Mm. So you might lose some of them and lose some points that way too. I don't know if you wait too long to shoot them. I don't know. Let's see your score. I bet your score is even better. Because you got two. Yeah. Is well, it? Well, that's about... It's, um, it's about right? It's about right. Yeah, it's about right. But you definitely got... They must be about 50 each. Maybe more for higher waves, but... I don't even see. Any? Any? It's probably the... Anything? No. Nothing. Maybe some waves that just don't have any? Yeah. It may be kind of random with spawns? I don't know. Is it the same every level? I don't think so. It's a different person. Different enemy uh, bonus okay. every level. Every level. And it's it seems to be random. Yeah. 
because you started off with the Death Star, but I'm not sure if you... Does it always start off with the Death Star? Now I'm going to have to pay attention. <laughs> <sighs> Anyone paying attention out there? Does it always start with the Death Star, or, or, is, or was it sometimes the ship? Oh, where's my... There's one. Did I get it? Fighter ship. No, I didn't get it, but it made a noise. Oh, oh, God. Now, now the warp has shown up because they're going crazy. There you go. Now they're all disappeared. So interesting. There's some, there is a pattern to it. Did I get a lot of points? Is that, that's, that's fine score, I guess. I think it's a fine score. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fine score. But you still want to look for the, the bonuses. Yes. Like, scroll around. And I think I do want to look any, for the bonuses. I haven't seen any, though. I haven't seen... So it, it, it must not be every level that they... Oh, there he is. These guys are awful. Oh, you're good at getting them. You have they to get on the same... You have sometimes to, they fly straight, sometimes they don't. Yeah, they have, you have to get on the same plane, like moving in the same direction as them. in A, lasers overheat faster, but higher score. What position is your left diff in? B. B? So it's not an A. No. So it's a, yeah, you're doing a lower score. I'll just check. Yeah. Yeah. Lower score. So if you're better at managing your overheating, you can... Water. Sorry. Yeah. You can, if you can manage your overheating better, then um, it's good to go in position A. Okay, next level. Hi, cats. You're both here. So, 1100, not great. Oh, did I see something? No. Anything special? Any TARDISes? No, nothing. Not overheating is helping a lot. Oh my god. What? The star just disappeared. Bastard. Where is it? There it is. Need it back. Thank you. Can I get it twice? What? No! No, 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 no. No. 12.63. That's not good for this level. That. Thank you. Yay. Okay. Back to back to full. And been gone immediately. I saw it. It was there. There's a star. Come on. There we go. Cool down. Hi. 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 Oh, you're so happy. Hi. Hi. Oh, damn, it, damn it! Oh my god. What Any more stars? Do have against Doctor Who? No! Ah! Hi, you want to play? Pixel? Pixel wants to play. Oh, 15 seconds. Switches 62. take effect immediately. No need to reset. Oh, oh instantly. That's good. Uh, I don't know. Does it matter what difficulty switch for the for the patch? Uh, no, I don't think so. So you could go for the easier points then. It's because they're, um, yeah, I could. But well, this is the easy one. Or it overheats faster, though, but you get yeah. more points. So yeah. You might get through it a little quicker. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, I saw it. There's a ghosty ship, yeah. or the cloaked ship. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but. Uh, Pretty much cloaked. They're hard to see. Oh. Good job. Did I get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't see the explosion. Yeah, it's you, you Damn it, I'm gonna Aww. Oh. 1757. That's your best yep. so far, I think. Do you wanna play again? No, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. I'm gonna try it with the other difficulty. Yeah. 
1757. Let's see if there's actually more points. You're going to definitely get more points at the beginning. Because there's not as much chance of overheating. I should look for the... Look for the bonus stuff. It definitely gives you more points. I don't see the bonus stuff. Oh, whoa. Overheated already. Jeez. Yeah, you really have to lay off the button in this one. Oh, hello. One more. There you go. Wow. Yeah, it is overheat sitting here. It is not good. Hmm. Let's see what your score is like though. Mm hmm. Usually it's around 100 something. Have to change a little. In level one? 100, 100 to 300. 300 was the best when you, were, when you hit a lot of the bonus guys in a row. You got about 340. Now is it a lot more or is it mm. just a little more points? Oh, that's quite an increase. Yes. I think that's yeah. worth it. Yeah. Uh, oh, so you can start with high difficulty and then switch go. back to normal. That might be a good tactic, actually. When you get further along. Maybe to like... I don't know. It depends if you if you can't balance out the overheating. Because yeah. if you're if you're being selected with how you shoot, you it's not really too bad. Careful. It's about dodging. I find it's more about the dodging. Than, Look how than... fast you overheat. It is about the dodging. But you have to yeah. just remember to lay off. Lay off the button. At, at, every time you can. Oh, at that start. You don't need it. Oh, but don't I? Oh, because I went up a level. That's why. Yeah. Sometimes there are lots of stars. Sometimes there are barely any. Zero. So I, it, that must be a bit... I don't know. Everything's quite generated? random. Yeah. A lot of randomness in this game. Oh, the overheating. I don't see any other death stars anywhere. You can't, you can't hold the button, basically. You have oh, to be no. more selective. Really it's really careful. slow to... Uh, Get it back too. It's very slow. All, oh. the, mo all the more reason to um, target the uh, the bonus guys if they're there. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's huge. After two levels. Is it? Five hundred and eighty-nine. I don't know. It's it's I quite a bit more. So. I don't know. It yeah. Was only after two. No, that was wave. Oh, you're going into wave three. Yeah. There you go. There. Yeah, get those TARDISes. Get them. Any more? Nope. Yep. Like it when you have three on screen and you're shooting and all you do is shoot their their bullets. bullets. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, TARDISes are back. Job. Three. He overheated them so much. Okay. Another, Another one. one. Oh, they're going crazy now. I think I want to switch back to normal after. After four levels, maybe. See I'll do this one and the next one. But it's just so, so much waiting time to cool down. Nothing. Ugh. I'm overheated. Oh. No, no, no. Oops. That's okay. That's all right. It's harder. <sighs> See, that's a that's an extremely high score. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm going to suspect I I, I suspect that um yeah you can cheat and switch back and forth, <laughs> but I'm gonna suspect to hit that 3500 you're gonna have to stay at this difficulty level. The whole time? Yeah. Me yeah, probably. Oh, get him. You wanna get those those dudes. Yes, whenever you And see then them. and then just try to avoid the shots of the other ships. <laughs> till you till your heat goes down. There we go. There we go. Got it. 
how much more you get from the uh, the special ships versus the other ones because it may, a little bit more it may, not a lot more maybe it's just get the special ones and then warp and you know what I mean like like but you don't get them in every level no you don't sometimes you get five. Oh, there we go you're very Bullets. overheated I know. And just end it, because it goes back to zero, I think. Yeah. Welcome to the chat room. So you disconnected and reconnected. Hmm, interesting. 1467. Guys, really hard. Oh my god. You're okay. There you go. And <laughs> You're okay. scroll. There you go. Good. Scroll. Get your heat back. Good. Got it. Okay, we're back to full. For a little. Yeah, if you're scrolling sideways. <gasps> He's like, like, right you there. Right, I might as well press it. Um, when you're scrolling sideways, it's less effective than scrolling up upward. and down. Yeah, that's because right. they can they can actually hit you, those bullets. Yeah, quite easily. From uh, yeah. Oh, oh, empty. No. Oh, you bastard! Got me once, but it it's okay. It'll erase it. Sixteen fifty nine. Oh, I lost a lot of chat there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, no. just a couple of scrolling diagonals yeah. should be best. Yeah, yeah, to actually, yes, it would be, because then, yeah, that's smart. Diagonal. Because then you get bullets off both directions. Mm -hmm. well, gotta get that right away now. <laughs> Come on, bonuses. They're not every round. No. We'll I should do that. It's the whole time, just diagonal scrolling and pressing them when they happen to just fall in my radar. That'd be very, very boring. Oh, Diagonal, and then kind of slow down for when they. Nope, don't do that. They go crazy though. Oh, I must have hit a star. I got hit, but then I'm yeah. all fine. You you did get a star. Like totally accidentally. Oh, you bastard! You're bad. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, I think you're done. <clears throat> Excellent. No bonuses on that one. No. Well, I guess not every round has them. 1861. <laughs> Best so far. Mm-hmm. Yep, found a hacks. What yes. is it? Cheesing it? Cheesing the game? Cheesing? Yeah. Is that what they call it? Yep. Oh, right into it. I saw it. Yeah. I got that star. Good. Oh. Oh, there's another TARDIS. Oh, God. He just got you off the edge. Oh, I hate that. Okay, you're really overheated now. Yep, but I'm back to full. stars on this one. Mm -hmm. Now, is it even fair that you can't eventually maybe dodge the bullet no matter what you do? What do you mean? Like at a certain like level? Like, if he fires and you can't... Well, I guess you can shoot the bullets. That's yeah, you the can shoot the bullets. So, even if it gets harder and you can't dodge them very easily. Yeah, and it's getting to that point. It, is, it gets there really quick. Getting to when I hit wave 8 with my terrible score, <laughs> um, it was really chaotic. Like, it was really hard. Like that. Like when they start going, poof, 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 it's it starts to get really challenging. You can't change. Oh. You can't change direction when you're facing no. him and he's shooting three at a time because it will hit you. You have to keep scrolling. Yeah. Yeah. New high. <laughs> New high score. Twenty two point seven. But it's still so far from thirty five. And now 35. you're in wave eight, and wave eight is challenging. 
Just yeah. remember, go for the bonuses if you if you can find them. Hit immediately. Very, very, very hard. Oh now. my god. Wave eight is very. Oh, there's a boot. There's the dude. Okay, stop. And I'm over here. Are you? Yeah. There, there you go. go. Oh, scroll, look at scroll, that. Scroll, 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 scroll. Look at that. Scroll, I'm not even. Oh! What, what hit me? What yeah. hit me? I feel like you have to hit the 35 before wave 8, because <laughs> wave 8 is just ridiculous. That is an incredibly good score, though. Yeah. Like, cons considering we were starting below 1,000, yep. um, definitely the higher difficulty is the way to go. I think that's the only way to get the score. And then it gets too hard, and you overheat too much, and you can't shoot anything. Yeah. I don't know, maybe like wave 7, and then switch it over before wave 8? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Wave... One. The <laughs> bug, bug, wabby one. <laughs> Wave one? Wave one? Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> bug? No, it, it's... I think that's that's your selecting. Like You're allowed to select? Yeah, it's not what you ended up on. It's not like, oh, you you ended up Ooh, on wave it, eight. Does it end at wave nine? Or? This is your select screen. It's as high as you can select. Select, okay, that's If you want to start from wave nine. Yeah. Um, should it display? No, because I think it should always start at the wave you wanted to start on. So if you wanted to play wave 8 over and over again, it should stay in wave 8. Yeah, I guess so. Not... It doesn't really I mean, you'd have to you mentally You could select remember. every time, too. I mean, you could, matter. but I'd find it annoying. It's like, oh, yeah. I made it to wave 8, but I don't want to start on wave 8. Going back to yeah. wave 1. And then go back to wave 1 again. Yeah. Um, oh. My wrist is sore. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think... Oh, a separate line, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Score, blah, wave eight is what mm. you ended up on, yeah. Mm. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I got hired last time or not. I don't know. But you did pretty well. 23-26. One day I'll have to go through all the games that I played on this show and figure out what my highest score well, is yeah. on each one. <laughs> keep keep a track. Yeah. yeah, I should be doing it while I'm doing this the games because now we have like 100 episodes yeah. or something. 150. It's too many. Yeah. Anybody want to volunteer to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Go through all the episodes and get all my high scores? Yeah. No. That's a lot of episodes. That is. What are you up to now? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. 130 or something. Yeah. That's it's a, a lot. lot it is a lot of episodes. <sighs> um, so, uh, some fun games today. Very fun. Challenging games. I enjoyed all of them. They all, they're all very different and fun games. Yeah. yeah. Very, very fun. Quantum Tunnel. Yeah. Really good. Yep. I, I find the balance is perfect now. Yeah. It's, I have yeah, no problems with anything in the game. Yeah. Just the option to, for, for flickering and Jared Gray Jared West Gray came said in. it could, could turn off and if the, it could, I would play it for a lot longer than I did because uh, it does get to me after a while. But so he said he's going to, he's going to do that. Oh, that's so, nice. Uh, with the select yeah. switch. So yeah. we'll be revisiting that in the future. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, still a very fun game. Like, oh, no, no slight on the gameplay because no. it's, it's a fun game to play. And played Hotbox, which we... Which was Pickle. Which was Pickle, and we still didn't figure it out. The, no, I'm and I, sure I we feel that we're really time. close. And um, who's who's the uh, uh, Edward developer? Smith, EA Ed, Smith. EA Smith will probably tell us again that we were really close, but didn't quite get it. So <laughs> Yes. Uh, but it, but there's like definitely something to baseball history there. Maybe the positioning of the people on the screen. Maybe they have to be in a certain position related to a certain baseball game. Or Yeah. I, 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 I'm not maybe a Maybe everybody has fan, to be... So. Like, the person at the top has to be at the top, person at the bottom has maybe, to be the bottom, and the maybe. person in the middle has to be yeah. in the middle. Maybe those numbers relate to an event and players, and so there's or something there. Or your position there. on the screen. Maybe. Like, don't know. Yep. We'll see. Uh, are there more new ships after Wave 8? <sighs> I, it's It seems to loop around. Yeah. You I, can see Wave 9, but the ship color and the bonus guys all seem to be looping random and looping through. TARDIS? There's the, 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 the right flying ship. And um, then the Death Star. The Death Star and the cloaking ship. Oh, yes. Which so, someone mentioned is a Star Wars ship, but I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. So I, there might be another ship? It's possible. Maybe when you hit 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we haven't seen one in the in the eight waves. We've Give, made it to wave eight. Okay. Yeah. Nine, a quick try. <laughs> That's how you convince James to turn it back on. Don't forget to flip it over. They're like, is there a new ship in wave nine? Yeah. Show us wave nine. Yeah, well, we can try okay. it. Yeah. There's been a pixel here, but you can't see him. He's purposefully off camera. 
just loafing and listen, listening to us play. He's right here yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Having fun loafing? So He's a is... funny cat. He just likes to be in the room with us sometimes. He doesn't he doesn't like interacting. Atari likes to be here if he's in the room. Actually, he's in the corner too, but he's Let's very cuddly, but Pixel just wants to exist. He just wants to is be this in wave the nine? Did it? I think so. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's wave nine. <laughs> it's not wave one. I've just set it back to the easier... Um... It looks it looks the same. I think they're random, like what, what, what bonus... Bonus yeah. ships show up, and and some levels don't seem to have them at all. So, yeah, this is tough. You have to shoot their shots, but you don't have much time to shoot their shots. Like, <laughs> like death. Instantaneous death. There you go. Oh, Wave nine yeah. stuff. Forty-four. Forty-four points. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's no. a bonus. Yeah, see, it's random. So it's definitely not a new forced ship. No. There may be more than four yeah. things, but I would have thought you'd see it on the first six waves eventually. It could be a wave ten random. thing. It could be, oh, you made it past wave nine. Here's something There's bonus. There's a big bonus. But, um, yeah. yeah, not that we can tell. Oof! Wave nine. <laughs> it's Pixel. Pixel's back on screen now. He's he's loafing in another location. He heard his voice. Yeah, I think the only way I'm going to survive these higher ones is with the faster cooldown. Because yeah. I won't be able to shoot their shots yeah. to defend myself. Like, I can barely position myself over their shots fast enough. To well, shoot they're them. shooting like they're at the end of the wave. They're like, yeah. whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. they're doing the triple shot. I can't get to the shot fast enough to shoot it. Like, there, I tried to get. Yeah, that's, oh. that's hard. That's really hard. Yeah. I, I have to the say, hell? and we haven't addressed this yet, when you get hit and your your display goes all staticky, I think it's awesome. Oh, it's amazing. I think that's a, an amazing way to indicate that you've been shot. Other yeah. than the red the red squares, like that actual like jittering of the screen and the and the the static is is a really nice touch. I guess if they're shooting, like within a box. Yeah, catch seventy three. Yeah, it seems a tad unfair. Yeah. Within a box on the screen, yeah. you can move to the shot and shoot it. Outside of that box, you can't. So you have to avoid those shots. Yeah. And that's when you get a wave 8 and 9, what you have to do. Mm -hmm. You have to think, can I shoot this shot or can I avoid this shot? Yeah, avoid. <sighs> Interesting. That definitely ramps up and ramps up nicely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it does. It does. Um, so Hotbox, another really fun game. Yes. Because there's a lot of different tactics you can take. Yeah. <laughs> to run or throw at the person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can change the game as well because you can't. One option you can't throw them throw it at the person. I like I like the throwing. I like at the you. throwing at the person because yeah, you I have to too. avoid them. Like I'm pretty sure away. that's how I beat you was was actually getting you in in between me, uh, getting the ball to hit you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like and that. then Starfire, uh, unbelievable. I have to buy that game now. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Mm. In, on cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they're still selling it on Atari H, that's awesome. Um, I believe they are. And yeah. I, and I don't know if... I think they're still selling the box, too. Mm. Which is... Uh, is very good to get, then. Is one word? Starfire, come on. There we go. Yep, still has the box too. Oh, nice so. looking box as well. Mm -hmm. Nice art. Yep. Very cool. Uh, I like the pinks Dave and purples. Paxton. <laughs> yeah, very nice mix. Um, so yeah, and it's a it's one of the le uh, less expensive games. Probably because it's been around a while. That's yeah. very cool. And and it doesn't use any extra hardware, so there's like a delineation. Uh, yeah, if there's another chip. In if there there's or another something. chip in there, it bumps yeah, it up like enough. ten dollars yeah. or something. Mm. Um, but amazing, amazing game, and we will revisit it again yes. to try and get the patch, yes. which doesn't exist, but just earning the patch is, is the point of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to more games putting out patches and they have been mm -hmm. a lot more games have been putting, uh, including patches with their, with their games. Um, we are done for today. 
And uh, then we'll be back on Wednesday with chess with Erlen. Yes. And um, at least one other game, probably two small ones, I would think. Um, we'll probably play chess off the top um, just to, I don't know, because it's a long game. We'll see. We'll see the order. Um, and then we're going to be playing Aardvark later, uh, earlier next month on the 6th to try and get that uh, beat Thomas Yanch. Mm -hmm. um, and then he'll beat me at the last second. Yeah, of course. <laughs> then, then I'll have to do a bonus stream <laughs> and then try and beat him and fail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then on 13th of next month, less than a month away, we have Champ Games' new secret homebrew that nobody knows. I don't know. No you one don't knows. Know. No one knows. Not even uh, John Shampo knows. No. no. He, he probably knows. <laughs> he probably knows. He's working now. on it. Yeah. yeah. So he'll have something Funny. for us then. Funny. That'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in yes. today. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. And let's see who's still here. Pack Rat VG, Thrust 26, Cafe Man 2D, uh, who says, thanks for the show. Pack Rat yes. says, nice show. Bye, yeah. all. Uh, Kev73, uh, Captain Classic. I is supposed to was in I there. I supposed to, Mother, Mother 3. three. Uh, Mark Space Please. Inc., thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Jared Gray West, yeah. um, one of the homebrew authors of Quantum Tunnel. Thank you for mm -hmm. making that game. Metalunar 7. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Who else? Danny BC, I don't oh. know. You might have said them. Maybe. Uh, Tech yeah. TV, a uh, new person. Yeah. Haven't seen their name before, talking about the chess. Mm -hmm. And anybody else? Oh, Splendid Nut, still here. Yay! Yay, made it in the last second. Yeah. Read out your name. Um, so we're back on Wednesday uh, evening, uh, 6 p.m. slash 9 p.m. Pacific slash Eastern and whatever terrible time it is in europe sorry about that <laughs> um, get up nice and early and and thank you to thrust for putting in the turbo mode uh in uh stella so that we can um fast forward the game mm -hmm. in chess it's going to be a make it a much more enjoyable show on wednesday we don't have to stare at a blank screen well, it's for thinking. 10 minutes while yeah. it's thinking and that makes it so that i can pit a chess game against another chess game mm -hmm. in the atari cool yeah so that'll be cool. a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and we will see you next uh, Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.